Hey there and welcome to The Max Not Binary. I'm Max. Today we're back in Oxygen Not Included. We're going to restart the Take a Dupe Every Time challenge. Um, hello to Arusia. Hello, Leofa. Kaylee. Aislin. Fugelstrampen. Dibs on a dupe. Fugelstrampen, you can get a dupe with your max value points. Uh, which you may have been watching enough to have. If you have a look at the points underneath, there's a um, there's a claim um, for name in the game. That one will allow you to get your dupe. There'll be plenty of dupes, so worry not. It's good to see you again. We're not going to start on a different map, Leofar, on account of like one of the things that I like about this challenge is that I get to just play on Terra. Also, I am absolutely shattered. So the possibility of me being able to run even the beginning game on a different map is not even vaguely there. So we're going to try this. Let's start. Um, I quite like that world. I rolled it kind of randomly. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. Um, I did not know you could do that. Well, you can, Eslin. Absolutely. We will uh, put you in the game. You get first choice of dupe from the starting three. And then Fugelstrampen will get to um, choose next. Right then, Eslin. Right, let's, um, we are gonna, I'm gonna use the duplicate settings manager. Um, I use it just to, at the beginning, on account of, actually, let's reroll. I'd like two is fine. We'll take two. Um, because otherwise I'm just going to sit here spinning dupes for ages and nobody wants to watch that. So since I'm going to ensure that I have the dupes I want, I might as well do it by means of using the thing. Uh, it's a mod, Eslin. Um, it's the Duplicant Settings Generation Manager mod. Um, it's quite a good one. It does a load of other things as well, but um, I only really use it for the starting dupes. Oh, whatever. Yeah, no, they'll love that. That's fine. Let's, let's not go nuts. So, I've got a Harold here. Three, sure. What do we want? I think we'll take an operator as the three um, on account of it takes forever to get one. Or do we need a rancher? No, well, we've got you now. Quick learner, squeamish. That's absolutely fine. And you're going to be a scientist. You are a quick learner. Noodle arms. I mean, it's not ideal, but we'll live. Let's sort you out. Researching and uh, suit wearing. A bit of extra athletics. No, we should give supplying. It'll help um, counteract your noodle arms. What are you? Binge eater? Uh, that's all fine. Lovely. Can we beat 66? Okay then. Oh, you know what? I haven't turned the um, what's it's off again. But never mind. The care packages. Oh, right. Let's pause. Title is the hundred. Do you reckon? Eslin, would you like our um, digger, who is Harold here, our uh, one day will be an engineer Steve, or our researcher Quinn. You get first choice, and then Fugelstrampen, you get second choice, so have a think about who you would like also. And you can be in the game. You'd like the researcher, right, then Quinn becomes Eslin. I spelled that correctly, I have. Uh, Fugelstrampen, you can have a digger or an operator. If you have a preference, let me know. Oh, lovely. Not a Devon. <laughs> Neofar, maybe there'll be a Devon later. Um, so we've got some slime here. 
underneath here. We've got water further down, which isn't too bad, but it's going to require a little bit of digging to get to. Uh, chlorine over there. Polluted water up there. This biome's quite small by the look of it. Digger. Then you can be a dirty boy. Absolutely, Fugal Stramp. Fugal Stramp. Kaylee wants the operator. There we go. Kaylee, in you come. Right then. As long as it's only noodle arms, indeed. Only noodle arms. No worries. Okay, let's look at this. So we're going to want to go along here. Uh, we'll probably. Well, why is there water in the way of this? This is probably going to be our way down. We need to cut along here so that we can get water. Mm, that should be fine. Uh, I think we'll probably therefore put... Can we put the bathrooms here? Yeah, we'll probably put them opposite, to be fair. And leave this for a minute. So, so things I'm thinking about at the very beginning, because I saw Eslin, you were interested in how I begin the game. In the very early game, I'm thinking about, first, how do I get water for toilets? Toilets are always my first um, priority. They're not everyone's. Some people don't mind if the dupes pee on the floor. For me, I find it very irritating when the dupes pee on the floor at the beginning. So I try and have that not happen, which means... Um, water is the first priority. I'm sort of surprised that doesn't dig out automatically, but you know, whatever you like. So, first thing we want them to do is go over there and build that pitch pump. While they're doing that, we'll sort them out some priorities. Fugelstrampen is our digger, so they go up on digger building and down on farming ranching. Kaylee's an operator. Eslin, you're definitely gonna go down on digging, building. I'm gonna leave you two to cover the farming, hopefully. Oh, and the other thing I want to do is nobody does research, apart from the people who are good at it, thank you. So this is three wide, so we get some airflow up and down the map. Um, you can see they're already struggling a bit with the fact that the carbon dioxide is built up down here. We'll want to go further down fairly soon, so that, that drops away. That's it. Because they're having to hold their breaths already, and that is going to slow us down. I wonder if we could. Would it be worthwhile doing this? It might actually be worthwhile digging a little pit. It would also let this oxygen out. Uh, the problem with letting that oxygen out. No, I've changed my mind. Change my mind. Leave it, Quinn. Do this. The problem with letting that oxygen out is it's going to let this shine bug out. <laughs> and I don't necessarily wish for that to happen just yet. Right then. You're doing very well. We're about to build that. Uh, apparently we've got some copper, which is handy. We're going to put some toilets behind. And we will make them bigger as we go along. What am I looking for? Plumbing. A couple of outhouses and a couple of sinks. Well, wash basins. Don't have sinks yet. There we go. So the next room we want after that, what do I do? Oh, I see. You're just you're just gasping for breath. That's fine. Excellent, Eslin. Oh no, you're picking up some muck root. I want you to build this. Uh, well, we'll just put it up a little bit then. New run, what a fluke! Unfortunately, we had a starvation death. Um, 
which was probably my own fault, I sort of saw that we were starting to starve and didn't really attend to it as quickly as I should. Um, I'm going to be slightly awkward and um, get you to build it there instead, just because I enjoy... No, no, uh, not at all, really. I've only explained it once or twice. But yes, this is a new run. We're going to try the same thing again, because I was sort of enjoying that. And it'll be fun. Also, I'm very tired, so I want to uh, just play the early game that I'm alright at without <laughs> having to think too much. <laughs> because that isn't going to lead to good outcomes. Uh, if I put the bedroom there, then I have to deal with the lack of ceiling. I mean, we can do that. We can build a ceiling. It'll be fine. Right then. Dupes. I'm going to let them build this first. So yeah, my my beginning steps are right. Priorities I've done. Schedule. We're gonna put everyone on new schedules. The reason I put everyone on new schedules, especially with a challenge like this, is that um, we're gonna get too many dupes. Way way too many dupes. We're gonna do it there. Yeah, sure, we'll do it there. Why not? So. In order to make up for the too many dupes, they need to be on separate schedules. So they're not all trying to use the bathrooms at the same time or, you know, not doing any work for huge periods. I don't like that. On you get Eslin, Kaylee, Fuglestrampen. I like the early game as well. Right, you go that way. Did we, we still haven't built this? Right, let's turn that up again so they actually build it. Right, this one can be open. This one uh, can be like that. <laughs> Get frustrated. I mean, that is understandable. Oni can be frustrating. Certainly. Right, you go that way as well. Excellent. And then we can start giving you beds. You'll like beds. They'll be nice. Let's get some toilets first. So, yeah, this is my order of priority. Toilets, beds, science, so that we can get up a mess hall. Preferably a great hall. But we will have to... I see you hatch. You watch it. It's gonna be barbecue. Eating all my stuff. That there is obviously nothing I can do about them eating my stuff. Yeah, research for Great Hall. It gives them the morale that gets them through the early game nice and helpfully. And gives you sort of a base for what you're doing. If I build that there, will you be able to build all the ceiling I want you to? Uh, we'll leave that for a second. Should have time to build it before they need to go to bed. That hatch is going to be annoying. I have to put in Great Hall like you mentioned, the morale shoots right up. Great Hall is frankly, I think, overpowered, Eslin, is what I'd say. <laughs> it actually feels to me like it's a little bit overpowered, that there there isn't really a good reason why Great Hall should be quite as good as it is put those beds in the wrong place. Why am I so incompetent? Good grief. Let's do some doors. Let's try and put these beds in the correct place. Uh, which is going to be, there's going to be a bed here? Is that right? Yes. There we go. How long is it taking you to deconstruct something, Fugelstrampen? Is it genuinely that difficult? I mean, it might be. Alright, nobody goes through these. These exist for airflow. Um, in case uh, people are wondering why I stack the... Um, what are they called? Doors. Yes, border fluke. That is exactly what I was just talking about. Yeah, we um, put the 
double doors. So instead of blocks and door, this improves airflow. So you've got airflow through both of it. You don't have the access to the airflow tiles right at the beginning of the game. And um, the other thing that you've got is that actually in research, resource cost, uh, the doors are cheaper. So that's that's another reason to do it, right? We're gonna have a bed there as well, Kaylee. Now that you've um, built that ceiling, after they've built the beds, the next thing we're gonna get them to build is the research station, which we'll build here by the light. Um, it's worth noting, if you didn't know, that the pod gives out light. This is a light. Um, and this will allow your duplicants who have a workstation by it to work 15% faster. Um, which is, you know, sort of worthwhile, to be fair. No, 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 no. We are not disinfecting any toilets, thanks. None of that, you lot. Kaylee, you standing around being idle, that is unacceptable. Time to build a power wheel. There are indeed benefits to light. They increase essentially the speed of any task that has a progress bar by 15%. Um, that includes eating, going to the bathroom, um, and various other bits and pieces like that. So they can definitely be worthwhile. Uh, but because obviously I don't want to build a light and spend the power in the very early game, I can just put it by the pod and use the pod's light. <laughs> you, you want to flex on the pod and surround it with lavatories. <laughs> they probably mentioned that in the descriptions. Um, I don't know if there's really an easy way to see it. Uh, you might be able... Are you well lit? Yes, lit workspace. So you see it comes up for the dupes if they're working in lit workspace and you can see the bonus there. You can... Um, one of the things that I sometimes do is if you leave this one one longer... Uh, you don't even necessarily need to, do you? Let me look at the light. No. What you can do is you can delete this and put the... Um, the beginning research station this side and then you can put the advanced research station in here to have them both be well lit which now that i've mentioned it i'm sort of tempted to do to be honest let's move this back one uh, we won't move the research station yet because we have, don't have the advanced research station so we'll wait for that until we actually have one but uh for now we will at least move this back so that when we want to build the research station, the advanced research station, we can. Alright then, what have we got to do here in terms of places to go? I think we need to go down so we can clear some oxygen. Well, clear some carbon dioxide out the way. Thank you, Eslin. Come here, build a manual generator. Lovely. Get on with some wires. And we should be good to go. All right. So, where next? Oh, there's, there's loads and loads of space back here. It looks like the biome goes over this way a lot, rather than necessarily down. But I do want to come down a bit. Um, and what we're going to do is... One, two, three, four... Hmm. I think in the short term, I'm just not going to worry about the floors and just put a door here. Um, because I want to keep this shine bug out of the way. The shine bugs are attracted to the pods. And I've got a bedroom opposite the pods, which means they're going to keep lighting my duplicates in the pod, which is going to be deeply annoying. Frankly. Because then the dupes will, won't get rested and it'll all be a nightmare. Let's choose some research. Now we can. First thing we're going to go for is mess tables so that we can have a mess hall or a great hall. The other reason to want to keep the shine bug down here is that it's actually helping these bristle blossoms grow, which gives us some extra food. We will, however, uproot this muckroot. Hey AoE channels. 
This is the Spaced Out DLC AoE channels. We're playing on a um, the smaller asteroid types, but we're playing on uh, the sort of base games, the base start, the Terra start. So these asteroids are actually a little bit bigger than the asteroids right at the end of the um, list, if you've seen it. Um, but they're not very big. We're going to be taking a dupe every uh, cycle. No, every time the pod goes off. And we'll see how long we can survive. Our current record is 66 dupes. Which I, I like to think we can beat. You can't build that? Why can't you build that? Nobody can build things diagonally anymore and it's disappointing. Right, what are we going to do after that? Mm, this water is in the way, I have to say. Well, I guess we'll keep exploring anyway. We're going to wind up digging out under here at some point, so I'm going to put some tiles in there. We're also going to want some tiles in here, so let's let's continue digging the bedrooms, because actually I'm interested to go over this side anyway, uh, because it looks like the biome goes quite a long way back that way. So that'll give us a useful thing to be getting along with. Excellent. So we've trapped this here, and we'll do some more digging. No, 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 Fugelstrampen, don't you get trapped up there. I see you thinking about it. I see you thinking about trapping yourself up there. Oh, there you go. The game didn't allow you to. Excellent. Oh, yes, oxygen generation. That would be a, a handy thing to have. Hmm... Where can we put it? Could just put it underneath here. That'll do. Oxygen. Oxygen diffuser. Let's build some wires. Do, 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 do. Send noodles. <laughs> You're quite excited by the idea of noodle arms, aren't you? What did I tell you, Fugelstrampen? Did we not have a whole conversation about you trapping yourself up there? I am fairly certain we did. I seem to recall a whole conversation about you trapping yourself up there. And yet, what do I see? You trapped up there. God damn it. <laughs> so many innuendos. Um, yeah. They're, they're fairly easy ones, though. There we go. You're going to have to dig yourself out. Mm, yeah, there should be enough sandstone up there that you can build the ladder to free yourself. Right, now that we have successfully roofed that off, we're going to want to cut through here. So we can put in the extra beds. Is there anything to see back here? There's not loads to see back here. Here's our uranium for early game science. I was absolutely amazed at how far that went in the previous game. Chris Cutie, thank you so much for your follow. That's very kind. I hope you're having a lovely day. Man, that's what we want. Beds, 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 beds. Right, we are prepared. Excellent, Fugelstrampen. At least you're digging yourself out. That's the next thing we need to do. Let's turn the priorities up on this little bit. And then we're going to want to think about food. We can put some food in above the pod. That seems like it will be a perfect place to put food. Alright, we're going to want some uh, floors there. Actually, we might as well, since we'll put hatches in with the food in due course. One, two, three, four. Oh, handy. We want it that size. Do, 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 do. Alright, there you go. Fugal Strampin has nearly built themselves all the way back down.
Right then, and this is going to go back a reasonable way. Oh, it's hot over here, isn't it? Mm, yes, that could be an issue. I'll have to watch the heat coming through. It might be a problem. Uh, that is how far back we're going to want to go. <laughs> I am sure. It's, it's fine. There's always a ceiling collapse. We'll be alright. The dupes can manage. How much sand have we got? Oh, we haven't even got any sand. Um, um, blocks at the bottom yet, which is moderately surprising. There's always plenty of ceiling collapses. Speaking of ceiling collapses, we are going to have to get up and do this. So let's cancel digging out these ones for now so that we can replace this sand with a ceiling. I wonder if this might be um, a pretty good place for a nature reserve. I don't know what we'd put in there to make the dupes go in there, but we could um, possibly make that into a nature reserve. <laughs> Previous disclaimer, not in any way time box. No, no, there's always going to be um, plenty of ceiling collapses. There we go, look. We've managed to block the bottom of the ladder, because of course we have. I would like this uh, harvested. In fact, I'd like us to set all of those on harvest. Uh, we'll also set these on harvest for now, and we'll see about when we get there. Mm, speaking of ceiling collapses, at some point we're going to want to dig through here, so we might as well get them to build a floor in here. Eslin, how are you doing with your research? Ah, oh, you're nearly there. Tomorrow we can build mess tables, which isn't too bad. Sometimes you can get them out by the end of day two, but uh, as I recall, Eslin has two interests, which slows their researching a little bit. <laughs> you're not the smartest cookie. I mean, you're the smartest cookie in the colony, to be fair. <laughs> so it must be said that you, you currently are the smartest cookie. For the moment. Yeah, well, I mean... If it's anything like the last game where we had to take a gazillion um, researchers, because that's all the pod kept offering us. Right, we might as well build a couple of things that we know we're going to want later for when this is a ranch. We're some way from being able to actually have a ranch yet, but you know. <laughs> You'll stop distracting us, Lynn. Oh, you're doing a good job of, of doing some building here. I mean, apart from your getting yourself stuck up there, which is fairly typical. We definitely need a farmer rancher. I mean, that's what we're really hoping comes out the pod next time. Um, I also have forgotten to turn off care packages again. So I actually think that all it does is make this challenge harder because you have less dupe choices. Um, but I probably would have turned them off if I'd remembered. But as I didn't remember, that's the end of that. Right, where are we going to put the dining hall? We might put the dining hall up here. The duping cryo has three skill points. I mean, that is true. Probably put a dining hall up here because, like, this exists and seems a perfect place to put the dining hall when we're ready. <laughs> Do you know anything about trapping yourself? Um... Have we planted enough food yet? We have not. But we are digging out a place to plant food. So that is ongoing. Plenty of trapping yourself, indeed. How are we getting on, Eslin? You're nearly there. Excellent. Right. We've learnt about mess tables. So the next couple of things we're going to learn about are the things that we therefore want to put in the um, dining hall in order to make it into a great hall. 
So we're going to start that with um, the water cooler. Obviously, these days the water cooler is massively um, outperformed by the phone. But, you know, we don't have the phone yet. So, water cooler it is. Uh, and the reason I say it's outperformed by the phone is because, again, you don't have to actually use the phone, and the phone is only one tile wide. So you can get more um, tables in, which, uh, especially for this challenge, is a bonus. We all want to get as many tables as we can fairly shortly. Where are you going, Kaylee? Now oh, you're going to run on the wheel. That's fine. Somebody needs to run on the wheel so we can keep Eslin researching. How are you doing here, Fugelstramp? Are you about to drop any ceilings? No, you look all right. This looks all right. No ceilings for you to drop on you just yet. There'll be more, no doubt. Got a vacillator up there. Oh, I don't know about it. I wonder how much copper is in these. Because we could actually look like we could get a reasonable amount of early game copper if we came up and, and uh, murdered this. This is also oxygen in here. This isn't um, chlorine. Huh. I'm very tempted to go and deconstruct all of them. <laughs> You'll find one. Oh, I expect you will. Um... Yeah, this isn't chlorine, so we could actually just go and deconstruct all this copper stuff to give us some early refined metal. It, it is chlorine on the uh, higher level, but there must be some sort of uh, gap. Because this is oxygen. Oh, we can't get up here yet because we can't break through abyssalite. We'll have to wait until we can break through abyssalite. Um... Yes, because there isn't a no chlorine way we could come in through here, which would defeat the point of me being excited that that isn't covered in chlorine. Excellent. So now we have a water cooler. Let's move on to the last bit. We need to make this into a great hall, which is going to be a uh, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. A flower pot. That's what it is. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. We'll put you there. It's a bit of a guess about how big we need this room to be, but it'll do. Um, I'm almost certainly going to wind up building an oxygen diffuser just here. I find that the dining room is usually a good place. It's also quite useful often to have one higher in the colony as well as further down. Oh, there you go, Fugelstramp, and you found some ceilings to drop on yourself. You have managed not to entomb yourself, though, so we'll, we'll take it. We will take it. What is this over here? Oh, this is probably... the one of the supply teleporters, I would guess. I don't quite understand why we're so much more excited about doing this side than the other side. Because it might be nice to, you know, get some food, maybe. But maybe not. Maybe the dupes aren't that excited about that. Let's disable the water cooler. Don't want to waste any water putting it, having the dupes drink it. <laughs> Still practicing. <laughs> um, let me do my pronouns while we're while we're on it. Here we go. First extra colonist. Who have we got? We can have a doctor. I don't really want a doctor. I can have a decorating ranching doctor who is anemic and starts with super hard digging. Or we can have a ranching supplying builder who's a night owl but a shabby, shabby dresser. And we're definitely having the ranching supplying builder. Uh, Joshua here is going to be our farmer rancher to begin with. 
Um, Nisbet is anemic, which I don't really like. So let's go with Joshua. Come here, Joshua. Lovely. Let's give you some priorities. Joshua, farming, ranching, less build digging. Off you go. Uh, I think we will do the thing where toggling goes to very high for everyone. Because uh, it's definitely true that that isn't a super common errand. We'll also put life support up to very high. Um, and it's useful if the dupes are doing it. What's the other thing Joshua needs? Joshua needs a schedule. Um, now, Joshua is, if I recall correctly, a night owl, which probably means I'd like to move him one schedule further along. No, it should be fine. Yeah, you can go on this. That'll be fine. Excellent. No research focus selected. Right, we know about the flower pot. Next stop. Advanced research. There we go. So that we can... I don't know. Do the thing. I can't remember what the thing is. Jess Jack, welcome in. Uh, big shout out to Jess Jack. I saw you streaming earlier. Um, you seem to have an awful lot of dead duplicates. Was that a deliberate thing? Welcome Raiders. I am Max. This is the Max Not Binary if you haven't been here before. Thank you, Invader Bins, for the follow. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never had a tube die. All right, so it was some sort of glitch that, that meant that there was a, a notification saying that you had seven dead dupes then. Definitely no murders. Oh, is that what you were doing? Were you murdering them? That's exciting. Right, have we built this flower pot? Not yet. I'd like to build that flower pot, please. Thank you, Joshua. Oh no, you're not even building the flower pot. Uh, let me put the uh, thing on the flower pot up. Nestle. How big does a great hall have to be? 32 tiles. How big is this? Big enough. Dupes totally didn't die. If I had done that, then I would have had dupe deaths. <laughs> Hello, Nemotrek. Um Yeah, if you haven't um, watched Jess Jack, you absolutely should. Um... Excellent Oni streamer on before me as well. So we only very slightly overlap, which is excellent. Right, time to start getting some food going. Uh, this is still a six, right? Uh, that still needs to be a six. Joshua, you need to plant this, thank you. We want that six morale bonus. What am I looking for? Food. Planter boxes. That's what I'm looking for. I'm so happy my industrial brick is up and running and it works great. Oh, that's awesome. I only saw a tiny bit um, before the stream, but uh, certainly you have quite a lot of uh, big projects that I have not been getting around to recently. Is it a cooled industrial brick or a hot industrial brick, Jess Jack? Lovely. So this is Great Hall. Plus six morale. It's going to make life a lot better for us. Barracks. Latrine. Cooled. And it has power gen and industrial machines. Excellent. Right then. Doing very well, duplicants. I'm pleased with you so far. So hopefully we can get the heat under control. I mean, isn't that like half of Oni? Oxygen not included, but heat definitely included. Right, fish. You are to be our salvation. So prepare to be bred. Frankly. Frankly. 
Uh, Alright, we can take that one out now. I think we might also get them to build a couple more tables. You like your fish bread to toast it. I see. I see, Nemotrack. How are we doing here? Everyone seems to think that they're allowed to pause to eat. Next they're going to be sleeping and all sorts. Unacceptable. Unacceptable behaviour. Imagine. Thinking you can have time off. Endless working. Did I actually move Joshua onto his schedule? Yeah, I did. That's right then. Don't eat before you go to the bathroom, Joshua. That's the reverse of what we want to happen. Right. Advanced computer made. Which is going to lead us to do a couple of things. Such as deconstruct this and deconstruct this. And we're going to switch them around. We're going to move the research station over here and build the advanced research station in this spot. And then we'll choose some more research. Well, we can choose more research now. Um, because we've deconstructed that, do I want the refrigerator? Let's have a look. What do we want to head towards? It might be refrigerators as a little first step. I think so. Let's get the refrigerators. Efficiency, efficiency is eating while you go to the bathroom. I mean, there is that bug where they um, do their eating um, animation while they go to the bathroom, Catholic one. So that that's possibly um, similar. What do you mean no research is assigned? That's not true, is it? Oh, Eslin doesn't know how to do advanced research yet. That is true. But um, yeah, it might even be a couple of cycles before they skill up. Efficiency is eating whilst watching stream. Ah, oh, excellent. We're going to start actually planting stuff. Let's plant some mealwood. I have hunger. And then I have to go and annoy um, some bureaucrats. I'll lurk. Enjoy your look, Jess Jack. I hope that you um, successfully annoy bureaucrats. Seems a reasonable thing to be doing with your time. Watching, listening to stream, playing Oni, awaiting 4pm to go collect your baby from the vets. Uh, assumably this is a fur baby since you've put it in the vet. Um, what sort of fur baby do you have, Eslin? There we go. Oh, they've built this um, ceiling now, so we can um, do this. <laughs> Efficiency is eating whilst cooking the next meal. That sounds very like you, Ohms. Or maybe the vets are veterinarians that babysit. Could be. A kitty. She went in for the second half of her dental. She's an older lady and her temp dropped when they attempted to fix it the first time. I see. So they paused and um, did another one. I take it that she has finished her, her dental now since you're only waiting till four to pick her up and she is recovering absolutely fine. Other people. Look at how cute my baby is. Me, look at how cute my baby is. Yeah, I suppose, like, in common parlance, Whiskers probably is a fur baby, being an animal baby. But, I mean, I don't know what you'd call a fish baby. Is it a scale baby? Is it a fin baby? Who knows? I mean, is there anything up here that we desperately want? Not hugely. Mm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where we're going after this, to be honest. We'll work that one out in a minute. We probably need to build some more food. So we need to think about where we might be able to build some more food. Probably a slime baby. 
They finished one side, so they woke her up to make sure she did wake up, and they said they'd do the second half when she recovered from the first. I got the call about 3.20 to say she was recovering well and ready for collection. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear it. No. Well, maybe we don't need to build any food if we don't have even have enough meal wood seeds yet. Because that might make building food complicated. Hang on. Shouldn't we have a skill point? Joshua, you do indeed have a skill point. Have some farming. So we can get you into critter ranching. Why weren't you telling me, Pod? Excellent. Have have a good time picking up your cat. I hope everything is excellent. Right, you lot. How are you doing? Let's dig out behind here. We're going to want to dig out behind here in due course. Uh, let's just see it further across. We will probably want to put some doors on the back. So that it remains a room. Look at you and your lovely hat, Joshua. Doing very well. Wow, everybody's so incredibly slow. <laughs> Good grief. Right, the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to get them to dig out a little bit back here and we're going to put some bins. General purpose bins for things we might want, like dirt, algae, that sort of stuff. Mm. Bins. We could also put the fridge there when we've learnt about fridges, which we're about to learn about. Well, I say about to learn about. We will be learning about in due course. So we might need to leave a gap for fridges. Or a fridge, anyway. How are you going, Fugelstrampen? Doing well. I prevented you dropping a ceiling on your head. I know it's what you want to do. Okay, so far, so good. Uh, we need to explore fairly extensively so we can find the water. We're going to have so many dupes that we're going to need the water reasonably soon. We found the teleporters. Um, they are here. We can probably get them get to them through the slime biome in due course. I'm a bit bothered about this water being in the way of my thing. Ladder system. I think I want to pump it out. I should probably put it in here. Can we dig this one down? Maybe? Mm. Could dig it down a little bit, but it's certainly not uh, perfect. Uh, so I am definitely going to want you to dig out at least that much when we've got a moment. I'll put some ladders in. Excellent. This can get dug up. Now that you've done that, let's come on through and see what we can see back here. Ah, oh, we have planted all this mealwood, which means we can definitely go up again. Uh, yes. Dig this out. Put some doors on. Uh, we can we'll probably make this a natural park and a farm. Uh, and we might also make a farm on the, uh, a ranch on the other side. Let's set these to auto harvest. They are set to auto harvest. Lovely. Uh, nature reserves can be up to 120 tiles, so that's absolutely fine. We'll do the same thing as we've got here. We'll dig out back to there. Uh, that one can go because that's um, what's it? 
muckroot. That's the what's it. And then we're going to put a whole bunch of planter pots in, ready for additional um, mealwood. Let's look at light. We've got a lot of bristle blossoms here. And because they're wild, we don't have to water them. If we were to put up some lights, we do know about lights, don't we? Excellent. We'd need two lights, but they, they don't have a very big draw. It might be worth putting up a couple of lights so that these um, actually grow. They'd add to our food. Uh, 24 cycles. I mean, they don't add to our food loads, but I mean, for the price of a couple of lights, I think it might be worthwhile. So I think I might get them to build two lights there and there. That will require us to run some power. Like so. Excellent. Right. Speaking of bins, we're going to want a bin here. That's going to be a collection of sandstone. This one is going to be algae. Oh, have I got the... I think you can make the room overlap the ladders. I don't think I understand what you mean, Leofar. Uh, what was I want to put in this one? Uh, cultivatable soil, dirt. For nature reserve. Uh, yes, you can definitely have ladders and things in them, but... Oh, I see what you mean. I'd have to set up doors here. I don't know if I can be bothered to do that right now. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I I'm with you. We could do. Mm -hmm. How would that look? We have to put a door there. Hang on. Let's cancel these doors for a second then, and have a consider. Uh, is anybody going to be going up here for anything? Well, maybe. They might be. Yeah, we're also going to have to deconstruct this. And there's going to need to be a tile there, and we don't have any... I'd like an airflow tile, but we don't have one yet. So it's just going to have to be a tile, unfortunately, in the short term. I'd like to replace that with an airflow when we can. Um, and we'll do it the other way up here. There we go. We'll carry that ladder on up. Cool. Ah, oh, yes, that was the other thing we were going to do. We are going to build a whole more millwood. Wonderful. You're happy about that. Um, we are learning about the park sign. That reminds me I need to leave a space for a park sign. Oh, I can put it here now at the front. Because we um, we don't have any doors there. Uh, this is a room. I can't really see quite how big it is yet, but I'm glad we made Leo far happy. Right, what do we know about over here? Right, supply teleporter in, which probably means that this one up here is the out. Hopefully. That would be nice if they were both that close. They were really far away in the last one. Or certainly one of them was. Eslin has the skill point, advanced research, have the hat. Excellent. Now we can do the end of um, this thing. Learning about the park sign, in fact. And a fridge, which we'd also like. Sandstone in here, we're preparing for hatches. We can't build the stuff yet. We might learn about the stuff after that because Obviously, Joshua is already a um, farmer, so critter wrangling is the next one. So I think our next step may well be... What's it? No going through those doors. You know I hate it. Or these doors. 
Excellent. So there's some lights. We can grow some extra bristol blossoms, because why not? Why would we not grow things? Fugelstrampen, you also have a point. That's some extra digging for you. Excellent. Now we can... Um, we can escape this biome. We can get into this slime biome, because this is obviously open, which we might do. We could probably actually use this water to make a reasonable liquid lock to keep the um, slime lung in there for in the early game. Um, everyone will get wet, but you know, such is life. Um, it will... no, we, could, we can't get in here yet. Where else can we get? We could get through here, but um, I'm not sure we're going to want to do that immediately. We can also get up into this slime biome, but that is going to be way more awkward um, to not drop polluted water on our heads, which isn't necessarily where we want to be. What's going on here? This? Copy the settings. Put one in there. Oh, I can't because there's a light. <laughs> Can I move this light? I could. I could move this light here. It would be fine. Let's deconstruct that light and move it one further along so we can actually use that planter pot. I was like, what is wrong with this? Why can't I use the planter pot? And of course, the reason is that there's a light in the way. Hello, I saw you eating the muckroot. How dare you? Soon you will be wrangled. Oh, there's some ceilings getting demolished. Uh, do we care? We don't care terribly. We can, we can put them in from the top. Excellent, right. Now we can do that. Oh, this is going to build up quite a lot of carbon dioxide back here, which we need to be aware of. Uh, this is on a six. Oh, speaking of things that need to be higher priority, sinks go to seven, bathrooms go to nine. We have got a researcher's sign. Stop telling me nonsense. Yeah, and we're getting there. We're going to have a fridge and a park sign, both of the things I want, and then we're probably going to move directly to ranching. It will be excellent. Hiya, Fire. Good to see you. I hope you are having a lovely day. We are starting a take a duplicate every time the pod goes off challenge. Uh, on our previous attempt, we got to 66 dupes before I let one starve, so... We're going to try and beat that. Currently we only have four dupes though. 66 is a way away. Excellent. There we go. Now we've lit the bl bristle blossoms without um, having no room for the mealwood. And we can build a ceiling on here as we go along later. Oh, actually, why don't you not dig that one out and build this ceiling? Since you've just shown me a way you can do it, that would be lovely. Coming into break time again at the end of the fifth cycle. Eslin has the first break, so that is how that's working. Right, thank you. You've done that, so you can dig this out now. There we go. I see you hatch. I assume you're going to eat something else that I actually want. I mean, we pretty much want everything. We don't genuinely want to see the hatches eating anything. Um, quite like to sweep these little bits of sandstone that are within the scope of the um, thing. We have a skill point. Who has a skill point? Kaylee, you have a skill point. Um, we're actually just going to give you carry because the tinkering doesn't really do anything right now. So we're going to give you the two carries first. And we'll take you into 
operating later. Errands. Is Joshua's number one errand? What is Joshua doing though? Joshua is farming. Oh no, there you go. Now he's now he's taken up that er that errand. Okay, how is the heat over here? When we discover um, insulated tiles, we're going to want to put some back here to try and stop the heat from this leaching in to our farms here. So we we might uh, consider insulated tiles. I know it's not very hot, but uh, nonetheless, we have limited uh, what's it. Go on, Islin. Let's finish learning about fridges and park signs. It'll give us some extra morale and it will give us a fridge, which I'd quite like. Speaking of which, we might as well get them to uh, build a power wire there, because there's going to be a fridge. Do I need a second battery? No. No, we'll build some proper power by that time, hopefully. Excellent. Good washing your hands, dupes. That's what we like to see. We like to see washing of hands. Let's hold this door open, actually. They don't need to waste any time going through that door. That's a lovely new hat you've got there, Kaylee. Well done. I mean, I think they'd get food poisoning less if they didn't rub their tongue with their hands after they eat. It's just an idea. But it, it feels like, you know, maybe don't do that and you'll get a bit less food poisoning. Okay, so we've learned about fridges and park signs. Uh, we're going to start the next one. Let's build a fridge since uh, we deleted the ration box. And we would also like to a park sign which is in furniture park sign park okay where are we going next back here that's fine we can go back here <laughs> okay so this should actually be a floor let me dig that out, just so I remember that that is a floor. Do do one, two, three, four. Here. I think we need to uh, look at pumping reasonably soon. It'll also allow us to get uh, proper bathrooms in. There's no real reason why we couldn't have proper bathrooms. I suppose we could even give them a shower room back here if we fancied it. Farm station. I never use farm stations. Yes, they are both quite close. Look, we have both of our teleporters here. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. Do, 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 do. Hello, Naven. Afternoon to you. I hope you are well. Having a good day. Uh, this can be open as well. Nobody nobody needs to struggle to get through that door, frankly. So I'm sort of going around this so we can keep the shine bug contained. I don't know if we'll carry on with that. But we might do. We'll have to see. Fridge. We've got everything for the fridge. We need to put this fridge up to a six so that people do it. Oh, they built the park sign. 
Excellent. Nature reserve. That's what we like to see. So our next goal is ranching. Let's have a look at Joshua's skills. Joshua, how are you getting on? Oh, you've still got quite a way before we can give you critter ranching. Oh, we'll get the tech now and then we can worry about the rest. This is going to require some flooring. Thank you. So we can get in here and open this up. We can also, it looks like, get through the back of it into a, a grub fruit sweetle biome, which um, might not be a bad thing to be able to do. Certainly it might imp increase our food options in the short term, which is certainly fine. I think I'm going to get them to build a ladder along here. Uh, this is going to need some flooring. There's some sand. We're going to dig this out? Probably. There we go. Excellent. Yes, we can get through the back of this one. So I think I'm going to want to get up to both of these. Can we? Yeah, we can get to this without disturbing that. It's going to be moderately complicated, but uh, probably come through the back of this and then put a ladder up there maybe. That will disturb this, and we don't really care if we have a um, shine bug in our great hall, though. Though we might have to close the door. That might be the only thing. Dupe number five. Builders, builders, farmers. Uh, none of these are very exciting. We'll probably take the farming suit wearing early bird. Bit more uh, no noodle arms, but um, we can. They'll get improved carry, so we can counteract that in due course. Um, yeah, I think we'll take Marie. Welcome in, Marie. You agreed with Marie? Yeah, I think I think Marie is is the way forward there. Marie has a skill point. We're going to give her a farming hat. There you go. Let's have a look at your priorities. You are definitely going to be farming, which I think we might mean that I put Joshua down on the um farming. Is this a normal run? No, Chthonic one. This is once again a take a dupe every time. So, yes. I mean, not to be fair that it would be super unusual. We need to build these because this is currently not a room and it might only be plus one morale, but it's plus one morale that I want. So, um, let's get this built. Oh, Fugot Strap and feeling super productive. Excellent. Why are you standing around there? Oh, because you've trapped yourself back there. <laughs> That's why. That's fine. Well done. That's that problem fixed. Oh, Marie's pretty fast as well. Look at this. Oh, we haven't given her a schedule yet. That was what I want to do. You are an early bird. So we're going to have to make a few schedules uh, before we can find one that you will go on. Next one. There we go. Hello, KJ. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good one. Plus one morale is an increased chance for overjoyed. Absolutely. We always want the morale points if we can have them. Uh, these two need some downtime and we'll put some dupes on them in the future. Overjoyed is more OP than traits. I don't know if I entirely agree with that. It also depends on their overjoyed reaction. Some of them are a bit weirdly specific, I find. Like, in terms of what the interaction interacts with. Uh, well, there's quite a lot of things to dig out here. So let's um, get them dug out and see what it is. Yeah, depending on what deep you have. 
Excellent. So we're doing well over here. Things are going fine. We've got enough beds. We can always just put a second bedroom behind. We'll have the uh, build-up of carbon dioxide problem. Oh, we've got five dupes already, so it's definitely time for another oxygen diffuser, which is why I left that space there. There we go. We'll set that up. Yodel is gaining plus eight machinery, construction and strength. I mean, that's usually pretty useful. But yeah, I mean, if you get it on your farmer, it's considerably less useful. What's up with you? Oh, nobody has fertilized you. I've got two farmers now. What are they doing? Oh, Marie is on her way. Excellent work, duplicants. Doing very well. It's just occurred to me that it's quite weird that it goes dimmer when it's um, in the night cycle, considering that, um, look at, like, it's always pitch black, allegedly. I can see why people are interested in the lights out mod, because it is slightly odd that it suggests that it's pitch black, but then, you know. The dupes can obviously see what they're doing. How are we getting on with that researching, Eslin? Right, also how much food have we got? This isn't enough. Let's build another ranch. None of this messing about. Um, yes. I'm afraid you're just gonna have to cope. Shine bug. Why is there cycles? Indeed, if you're underground, why is there cycles? It's a fair point. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe day-night cycles should be something that you discover when you um, get to the surface. Oh, we can dig these out now, by the way. Cycles is the pod tracking the rotation of the asteroid. Oh, that's fair. The pod is, after all, an intelligence in its own right. I think we'll also get you to build a few more tables. Uh, there we go. Let's, let's build a few up to there. That'll be fine. Uh, other things we want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we're going to put some more hatches here. Might as well get the doors in. Research complete. Speaking of hatches, we now know how to do ranching. Power? Uh, I mean, we're going to have loads of dupes. I think I'm going to do plumbing first. Plumbing. Toilets? Toilets. Let's go. On the grounds that we have loads of dupes to run on wheels, so... There are some ways we can do that. Uh oh, hang on. Let's cancel these for a second. So that you can also put a roof in here, Fugelstrampen. Before you drop that on your head. Speaking of which, we're going to need to put one there as well. So let's cancel that bit of digging. So that you can reach up there. You, Shinebug, might well have a very bad day. Um... Grooming station? By all means. We'll put one there in there in a minute when we've done the 
ceiling. That's the word. Critter feeders? Lovely. All right. We could do with another digger now. Um, I'd also accept an engineer. Because at least I prioritise them for building and digging. So even if um, they're not going to be able to dig through harder materials, they'd at least be prioritising to do the diggings with Fugelstrampen, which would be great. Fish. We really want to put fish in clean water so that we don't have any... Um, What is the thing I'm thinking of? Gulp fish problems. That's the thing I'm thinking of. There we are. I knew there was a thing. Uh, we might want to learn about airflow tiles fairly shortly. We'll see where we are. I kind of want to pump here. We can set up proper toilets, which I think will be a worthwhile endeavor. Um, also, if we pump some of this out, we could maybe start thinking about breaking in here, through here. I don't know where we're going to put it just yet. We might have to get them to dig down in this a bit, which will get them wet and make them mad, but it might be necessary. Let's make sure they don't build these before we dig this out. Because um, that way we should be able to drop everything that's up here down. So it's not here for the hatches to eat. When we put the hatches in there. And now we're just waiting for Joshua to learn about critter ranching. And Joshua's about halfway there. Which is not too bad. What are you doing up there? Let's lock that so they don't do that again and annoy me. We'll also lock this one. I don't know why the jeeps just love to annoy me so much. You also can't go through here, by the way. Research complete. What did we just learn about? Uh, we know about liquid pumps. Okay. That makes me more keen to bring them down here. But we'll get this little bit sorted first. Then we'll come down here and we'll start thinking about toilets. Um, yeah, I don't think that's very much water that we've got down there, but there is a little bit extra clean water. Uh, there's also this one over here. What? Kaylee? Why are you starving? Kaylee, what's going on with you? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, not that one. Schedule? I was more interested in cheering up my friends. Apparently so, yes. I wonder if it is because... Uh, Kaylee has this schedule. Maybe you got interrupted during your downtime. Uh, I think it was Leofar who was telling us that if you, if the dupe is eating as it crosses over to the beginning of the cycle, they um, will stop eating and have to start again. Could be that. Not you. Somebody was telling me that. And I see no reason to disbelieve them, because often when people tell me stuff, they're right. What are you up to, Marie? Is Kaylee bottomless stomach? Uh, no. She better not be. No. She's squeamish. So she should be fine. I assume she just somehow skipped out on a downtime. I can't 
can't really imagine how. But what can you do? Alright, we've got one more of those to build. Fuglestrom, did you just like deliver algae on your way to do something else? That is um like amazingly useful of you. Not something that usually happens. So I'm quite excited about that. Oh, these can be open, by the way. You don't need to have these uh, doors shut. I wish they would actually do that. Um, yeah, we need a mod like um, the Rimworld one. Uh, there's a Rimworld one called While You're Up, which um, uh, sets a bunch of stuff up for dupes to... do errands on their way to other errands. The pathfinding would probably kill the PC after only um, 10 dupes. That is possible. As we know, um, Oni does struggle a little bit with pathfinding. Nobody's running on these wheels. We've got all these duplicates and you're not running on a wheel. I don't know how I feel about this, people. I mean, Kaylee's in the bathroom, so... Not gonna do any wheel running. Rimworld doesn't have dupes, it's true. You already had an egg hatch. Hmm. You've started older than I sort of expected. How about you? You're 40. I don't think we've seen any other hatches yet. Do 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 do. We decided that this side is the side you really want to plant in. I mean, I don't care which side you want to plant in, but whatever. Oh, somebody's running on the wheel. Eslin's running on the wheel. Excellent news. I do enjoy how quick Marie is. Where are we? Cycle 8. So we've still got a little while before our next dupe. Um, right. Let's switch that to sweep only for a second. And I'm going to add in critter eggs. Hatchling egg. Um, and then we're going to sweep this hatchling egg at like a 9. And then we'll just let it out again. But it seems we might as well move it there. Excellent. Right, out you get. Uh, and now you don't need to be on sweep only anymore. You critters, uh, hatches and hatchlings. It's definitely what we're going to start with. We'll start with eight. And we'll go from there. Have we seen Dracos? Yes, we have seen Dracos. There they are. So puffs. I don't remember seeing any puffs on the previous world. It's, hmm, weird. Maybe we murdered them, but I don't remember murdering them. Yeah, definitely need another builder. Because Kaylee's building when uh, she should be running on the wheel, and Eslin is running on the wheel when she should be researching. So if we had another builder, whether it's a digger builder or a operator builder, um, we might uh, get some more research done. Emma track. We will see. Right. Let's set this up. Yes, Amy. Uh, 
new start. We got a 66 duplicants and then one of them starved. So we called it there for yesterday and now we are back. Having another go. Right, four. There you go. Good morning to you too. I hope you're having a, a good one. Right, let's dig this out. Thank you. It's going all right. Yes, there's plenty of there's plenty of dupes available, Amy. If you would like to spend your points for one, yeah, this is actually sealed, so we could uh, deconstruct all of this to gain some early copper. It's also copper as well, which is useful because it means that we can add it to what we have. Right then. Who have we got? We've got Joshua, who is going to be the critter rancher, and Marie, who's going to be a farmer. Those are the two that we have available currently. You may choose. Marie? Absolutely. Where are you, Marie? I think you're sleeping, aren't you? Yes. Marie, you are now Amy. Welcome in, Amy. Thank you for spending your max value points with us. Brynry, can I please have a Bryn for the next builder type? Yes, Bryn, absolutely. That will not be a problem at all. We can... Uh... Are you happy with build diggers as well as um, operators, build operators, Bryn? Because those are the two that I put on building, mostly. Unless we don't have a choice and we get one that only does building. Right then. What have we got to do? We're still digging this bin out. And we're still digging through so we can get in here. We are going to activate these and we're going to put that up a little bit. For when we get there. I'm really happy that these are much closer. I think in the long term that's going to make life a bit more straightforward. Anything building. That'll do then. Uh, how's it going? Oh, we've got wet feet. It's going alright. Are we still learning about toilets? I think we are. Yes, we're still learning about toilets. Alright then. Once we've learned about toilets, we can actually build some toilets. Once we've learned about toilets, we'll come down here. Um, the dupes will get wet, they'll be mad about it, but... Maybe I'll build them a shower room to make up for them. They could have some shower and some industrial machinery, because, I mean, the shower room doesn't um, give any bonuses, so... It doesn't make a room, so it doesn't matter what you put in with showers, which is why you can put them in nature reserves, which is often quite nice. But I've put food in my nature reserve, so that is where we are at with that. I was thinking about going towards insulation. That might be useful, or do we need power? Do we need power? I don't know if we desperately need power just yet. I think I might like to go towards insulation um, so that we can insulate the back of these farms before this leeches through and um, murders our mealwood back here, which no doubt it would like to do. Let's set those on auto harvest. Lurk mode activated. Do you have the lurk command? Enjoy your lurking. It's very welcome. What have we achieved? Ah, outdoor renovations. Also bed and bath, which I obviously ignored. Not massively unusually, but there we go. Alright, you've built those so you can dig through this. Um, we can also build these so we can let that stuff down. 
which also means that we can start putting the infrastructure of a ranch in. There we go. Do 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 do. Excellent. Uh, obviously, the shine bug got in here. I'd really like it if you'd go in there instead. Be honest, shine bug. Because otherwise you might get groomed, and I certainly don't want you to be groomed. How old are you? 13? Mm, we'll see. We'll see about that. Because look, there's, um, there's bristle berries here that you could be lighting. Frankly. Which I would much rather you be doing. Right then. Let's get them to build a couple of lavatories. Where are we? We probably do need power, actually. Because uh, we'll need to run the water sieve the whole time. What am I looking for? Lavatories. They might as well build them, though. Here we go. Excellent. Let's do that. Oh, we trapped you back there. Amazing. That never happens. I can't believe we successfully trapped you where I wanted you to be. That is super. All right then, dupes. What are we going to do next with you lot? We are going to build some toilets. We've still got through here to dig through. Um, we could actually... Do, do, do. Mm. Could build. We could like dig through here. Uh, I quite like this being really tiny. I think I might actually just bring a ladder all the way from here. To look in here. There we go. I realise it doesn't necessarily make the most sense, but... Mm. The other option is to put it behind here. Well, we'll want another bedroom anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that might be more sensible, actually. Let's get that set up. Uh, we will indeed need a tile there. What have we learnt about? Ah, gas pumps. Exciting. Uh, we can also come back this way to start building the ceiling that will be necessary. We'll have to think about that. Let's break that off for now. And probably here. Yeah, the dupes can still get down. It'll be fine. Um, Kitty has returned, Eslyn. How is she doing? I hope well. Yes, that's fine. So what if we then dig through there and then we don't have to build quite so much ladder? Seems better. Less ladder, less dupe time, less material spent for no reason. Seems good. Oh, we do need to build more pots back here. Let's check the size of these rooms. 96. What do you mean this is 92? Oh, good grief, right. All right, well, I'm glad I checked. We can have another pot in both of these then. She's trying to get her pressure bandage off her arm. I popped a pic in the pets channel. She's still a bit dopey, but this be went better than the last time at least. I am glad to hear it.
Excellent. So we've got plenty of stuff for them to be getting on with. We would love another builder to come through, both so we can name them Bryn and because we need another builder, frankly. Vet got her anaesthetic records from the last op and tweaked it and no temperature drop this time, thankfully. Excellent. That is very good. Why are you hiding as far as possible from the bristle blossoms? At least you can make enough night. You can relax now. Yeah, it must be a relief. Let's have a look at skills. Um, what were we looking at? We were looking at Joshua's skills. Ah, Joshua, need to do more work. What have we learnt about now? Liquid valves, gas valves, airflow tiles, and manual airlocks. Airflow tiles are an important thing to note because I would like to put them there and there. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much just yet, but it will matter. Yeah, I definitely think we're going to need power. We're already spending too much power. Unfortunately. Manual airlocks, liquid valves, gas valves. Excellent. How are we doing for calories? Not too bad so far. Yeah, airflow tiles are a bit complicated to make just yet. Excellent. Fair enough. I do enjoy watching you actually fill up the um, oxygen diffusers. Makes a nice change, frankly. Let's just copy the settings there. And that is fine. When's our next deep coming? 45 seconds. What are you up to, Amy? Supplying? Probably. Oh no, actually farming by the look of it. So, how many of these are we going to have? One, two, three, four. Hang on, let's do it this way. 17, 18, which is... Uh, three in a bit. That's another three. That's kind of another three. A bit more. No, that's uh, uh, that's another one. So, we should be growing enough meal wood currently. <sighs> no builders. Uh, you're not really a builder, are you? But you are a cook. I think, Bert... We're going to get you to be a cook. We'd like a cook. Probably fairly soon. Rocketry's all right. Quick learner is handy. These are fine. I think we're going to make you a cook, Bert. In you come. Here we go. Bert is a cook. Let's give them a grilling hat. Lovely, Bert. Well done. We're also going to give you a schedule. In you get. And we'll give you some priorities as well. So your priorities are going to be cooking. And shall we just leave you as meh for everything else for now? I think so. I think it's priority 
cooking and then whatever. Frankly. I don't know, actually might not want you to do the farming. Um, oh, I don't know. I think we'll leave you like you are for now. I'll think about it again. The reason I was wondering about having them not do the farming is obviously if you've got a higher farming skill, you're more likely to create seeds. And as you can see, we don't have enough seeds yet. Also, we are keen to create seeds because we are going to run fish. No, there's... there's <laughs> Like, can I steal those eggs? I'm uh, like, I could, but there's not a super sensible way for me to steal those eggs. Um, yeah, so more seeds will be great to feed our breed of fish. As I said at the end of the last one, I think we're going to start by having um, three breed of fish. So obviously they'll eat a bit more, but we'll have the advantage that we'll spin our fish up quicker. Like, we'll increase the numbers of our fish much quicker. Fishes. Um, which will help us, like, not starve, essentially. <laughs> That's my thought process. More fish, more quickly, less starving. It's not the world's most complicated thought process, but that's what we've got. Um, how are you doing, Joshua? Because the other thing we'd like to start as soon as we can is critters. Also, I'd like to get the hatches out of these rooms where they can eat what they like. I'm not a big fan of the hatches being able to eat whatever they like, frankly. I like them to eat what I tell them to eat. Well, but you're not very quick, are you? I suppose one day you'll get there. Where's Eslin? Oh, washing her hands. Fair enough. Good hygiene is important. See? Look at you eating my stuff. I suppose you will at least give me coal, but still. I like to control what you eat. Right then, you duplicants, you. I'm getting on it. You're being industrious. And they're being relatively industrious, to be fair. I may sneeze at some time in like the next five minutes, which I always find really annoying when it does that, when it's like, you're gonna sneeze, maybe at some point. It's like, oh. can you please be a bit more s specific about that? Fish. How can you predict? Like, cause I feel that I want to sneeze, um, but I have not sneezed. And um, at some point that is going to turn into an actual sneeze. It's the excitement of allergies. I'm endlessly enjoying how fast Amy is. Do you have noodle arms though, Amy? Yeah, you do. Because that was only 160 kilos. That would be your reduced strength. Yep. Can't hold the full 200 kilos. She's doing very well as an errand jeep. I mean, she's primarily going to be a farmer. Um, but, you know, there's only so much farming that needs doing. And she's uh, doing a really good job at these errands. It has to be said. 
I might even give her a carry before I give her the next farming to make up for the noodle arms. Because she does seem to be spending a fair amount of time carrying stuff around. So improved carry seems like it might be helpful. Right, Fugal Strumpen is sleeping. Where's Kaylee? Ah, building some beds. I can't believe how much water this uses. Like, it's practically keeping Amy busy the whole time. Also, we're going through power way too quickly. We definitely need to um, consider a proper power thing. I mean, sad times, but oh, there's more water over here. Do, 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 do. I definitely want to be able to get into there. So if that's a thing, one, two, three, four, that would be a thing. No, that would be a thing. So we could potentially build a liquid lock that sort of did this to let us into here. That wouldn't be too bad. It's go Amy go. It is. We're doing doing very well. Yeah. So we could build that as a liquid lock. Um. Just so we can keep... This time I'd quite like to keep the slime lung out the way if we can. Certainly for as long as possible. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Lovely. What have we learned about now? I have no recollection of what I was trying to learn about. Oh, we were learning about insulated tarts, weren't we? Amazing. Pleased about that. Uh, we will also want carbon skimming, but we also want water sieves. But I think it's time to learn about power. But on the way to power, we're going to learn about brute force refinement and fire poles. Should we learn about fire poles already? Uh, we might not learn about fire poles. I think we're going to learn about brute force refinement and then into power. Because much as we will have plenty of dupes to run on wheels, um, we still need a better power array than we've got here. I mean, maybe we could go for super sustainable and have them run on wheels. Is that a sensible thing to do? We'd have to build a better battery. We'd also need more dupes, but maybe, maybe we could do that. We still might want smart batteries anyway, even if I decide that we're gonna do a, um, we're gonna do a wheel based power system. We uh, still probably want a transformer and the and the smart batteries. We could do both. Nah, we'll, we'll see. Right. Insulation. Thank you. Let's try and keep that heat back there and not in here. Thank you. Has anyone ever used the um, the icy fan or the ice maker actually? I have used a space heater in the past, not very successfully because they're rubbish, but um, 
I've never used the icy fan or the ice maker. You don't, Leofar? I mean, I, I'm not sure I've even seen anybody ever use them. It's just wasted dupe labour. I mean, that seems fair. Especially considering you're not a huge fan of having loads of dupes. Ah, it's fine. You can dig those two out so that you can get to that one if you'd like. You used it once, punk? <laughs> what did you use it for? Ice makers can be used if really needed, but hardly good. Fair enough. I never saw someone use it long term. Yeah. It's certainly not the uh, most efficient way to cool, but you know, sometimes you don't have the most efficient ways and you have to make do with what you've got. So, I mean, that's always worth considering. How far down could we potentially build this? Oh no, we couldn't go down there because... Uh, no. I mean, we couldn't get much further down. I tried to cool a room area, not effective, fair. I think we'll definitely like to take these out as well at some point. I think I might build this ladder. We'll build it like that so they don't have to spend too long coming down here. What did we learn about now? We have learnt about the rock crusher. Now you see this is why we need power. Because rock crusher. Can we have a wheel set up here? Let's have a think. One, two, three wheels. Transformer battery. We could have a wheel set up here, um, which I'm sort of tempted to do. There was a time before steam turbines. Ah. There was a time before steam turbines. Imagine that. A time before steam turbines. I definitely was not involved in the time before steam turbines. Joshua, haven't you got your skill point yet? Can you hurry that up? Oh yeah, you, you're doing alright. So, we're going to make a little... Um, dupe-powered section here. We might still wind up making a... Um, a coal section. But we're going to give it a go. Definitely had sticker bombs, yes. Nice overjoyed reaction. Um, the decor is nice, but I usually my bases are one of two things. It's either um, really high decor anyway, or it's really terrible decor and the sticker bomb doesn't really do anything to counteract that. <laughs> so unfortunately I don't find it the most useful of the overjoyed uh, responses. But that, it, that is a, a thing about the way that I play, I would say. There are other parts that are rather unusual, unusable, like the ore washer. Has anyone used that one? I think once we talked about the ore washer and one person said that they once had a big uh, zombie spore getting into something and they needed to uh, clean it. It occurs most often for some reason. I think it probably lasts longer, so you um, you notice them more. I think I think that might be what it is, rather than it actually occurring more often. Oh, you still haven't built that. The point of you doing this was so you could build this floor, not just so you could dig it out. All right, Fugelstrampen. Go eat. Our Mealwood Empire is expanding. Uh, we will need to do some brute force refinement, actually, because otherwise we need to work out how we get in here. Uh, which is probably this way, to be fair. Let's let's um, consider getting that built. 
Maybe not immediately, but at some point... Let's consider getting that built. That's... Well, that's, this is going to involve an exciting amount of dropping, um... Ceilings on us. And then we can probably get up here. And steal all this copper. I don't know how much it is. Not loads, but, you know, better than none. We'll definitely take some refined metal as better than not having any refined metal. Seems alright. We definitely need another digger, though. Research complete. Uh, jumbo battery switch wire bridge. Excellent. We're going to use a transformer here because I'm going to put a battery in. And uh, knowing how much draw I usually put on my line, we will definitely want to uh, make sure that it's limited. Or we'll just burn it out because I always have way too much draw on this line. Joshua, how are your skill points? Can I see them here? Skills? No. You would have thought that in the tab called Skills, you could see skill points. Maybe that's just me. Joshua has earned his skill point. Joshua, Critter Ranching. Excellent. Right then. When you wake up, Joshua, wrangling these two. Have we seen any other ones? I don't think I have seen any other ones. I don't necessarily see any signs of them. Hmm. So we'll keep an eye on that. Let's cancel that. Hmm. Theoretically. Excellent. Look at you, Joshua. New hat. Go and catch some hatchlings. That's what we like to see. Did I change their priorities? Yes, I did. Excellent. Are you excited about the meal lice, Amy? You don't usually being like, see them being like, yay, meal lice. I suppose it's early enough in the game that they're just pleased to be eating, quite frankly. They're less bothered about um, what they're eating. But look, we already have a hatch. Might as well get the other two toilets built. There's no reason why not. Mm, we could just put the pump in here, in fact. We have a pump, right? We know about pumps. Liquid pumps? Where am I looking? Plumbing. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, we do. That's what we knew about liquid pumps. I could actually build it underneath that, which is probably fine. Internal combustion? Lovely. Now we know about coal generators, so if we decide we need them, we can in fact build them. Are we going to set up an incubator? Probably. Again, we'll probably set up incubators mm, with their own dedicated, like, battery. In fact, what we might do is, if we put everything on this line with, say, a smart battery, we might repurpose this, might, like, deconnect that, and repurpose this with its small battery to run at least an incubator. We're going to need more than one incubator, but, you know, we might do. Why are you always so excited to... Oh, no, currently you're excited to pick stuff up. They do always seem quite excited to build the things that require themselves to dip them... dip in the water. 
give them options and they're just like, no, we're going to do the thing that makes us unhappy. Okay. Let's start thinking about plumbing. There's no reason why not. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Yes. And if we're doing that, we're going to want showers. And then behind them, we're going to put a water sieve. We don't know about water sieves yet, so we can't do that. But in due course, we will be able to do water sieves. Um, no, I think there's no point that you can't go up to the top. There we go. There we go. Once we get water in this system, we won't actually um, need this pump anymore, so... We won't be drawing off this for a very long time. Uh, the problem, do we even know how to make incubators? No, we haven't done incubators yet. So incubators are a little bit further up the uh, line. We are going to have to build the... Uh, where is it? The rock smasher. Here? Oh, that's a perfectly reasonable place for a rock smasher to live, quite frankly. Oh, that's not reasonable, though. All right, then. How is this bit going? There's still a reasonable amount of stuff to be building down here, so we'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, we have got some uh, polluted water, so we'll want to make a little sink so that we can put that into our polluted water um, whole section, rather than have to leave it there off-gassing. Excellent. Fugostram and got some uh, higher athletics. Always useful. Uh, especially because the diggers tend to be the ones who are going furthest away from your base all the time. Because obviously you tend to be digging on the outskirts rather than in the centre. running that even when the pump can't work. Because that's weird. Right, let's disable this for a minute then. Thanks. <laughs> Don't want you run running in that when the pump doesn't even do anything. We'll wait until we can actually put the water into the system. <laughs> then we'll let you run on that again. I assume Eslin will be next to get another skill point, yes. But that one will be okay. We probably won't need it in the immediate future. Can we see any of our water sources yet? No, not necessarily seeing any signs of them yet. So that requires more digging. I have to keep digging. Oh. Apparently the uh, colonies can't have question marks in them. Because they definitely had a question mark in that name. 
And now it doesn't have one. I was, uh, last night I was sort of looking at some of the old saves from the base game and was reminded at just how enormous those maps were. Like I was looking at a map I made and there's just an enormous um, ethanol production facility that's like this size. <laughs> as well as another industrial block that's like that size and then there's that size of trees and I'm just like wow he used to have so much space yeah it's 256 tiles wide is so much it certainly feels it now that we are, we've been playing the um, DLC for a while I did notice, though, that in my um, habit of always having loads of dupes, that, that save apparently had 88 dupes in it. I assume I was doing it on stream, because I think I saw that some of the... Um, characters had um, subscriber names? Had, like, uh, viewer names? Yeah, had 88 dupes in it. I had three of my 32 people, um, like, mini bases. In fact, not only were they mini bases, but I'd built the ones that had, um, oh, I'll see if I can show you. Will it show up on the black? I don't think it does. If we look at the blueprints. Yeah, it does. So not only did I have the base, but I had these ones that have the, um, have a full Rodriguez strapped to the back of them, essentially. Um, and all their transformers and everything. And I had three of those stacked up. Um, and I was running rockets, so must have been fun. Scary. I mean, as I say, lots of dupes is kind of my thing. Oh, Marie, you're going to be a bit rubbish with that because you have low strength. However, it should increase your strength, doesn't? Isn't this a strength? What is this errand that you're doing? Oh no, it's tidying. No, tidying is a strength skill. So, if you clean the toilets, it should increase your strength. But yeah, I was enjoying that. And, and looking back fondly to the times when we had quite such enormous um, maps. I think I'd sort of miss the the extra stuff though now. I think I've sort of uh, acclimatized to spaced out and I think now I would miss all the extra stuff if we went back to vanilla. Even um even given the fact that I do particularly uh, like an enormous map to build stuff on. How is this going on? I think you just um, increased your research a bit, which is lovely. You have earned a skill point. We're going to put you in field research because that's always the one we want first. And um, I assume we will get another researcher at some point. That is usually what happens when we have to take all the dupes. I mean, maybe we won't this time, but it seems unlikely. What are you doing, Bert? Oh, I see you're collecting dirt. Fair. Excellent. Rock Smasher can now begin to be built. One or more crops are wilting. And it's because nobody's put any dirt on it yet. They'll they'll get to that. They will get to that. I mean, I don't know how I feel about the fact that it's Eslin who's going to get to that. I mean, we have two farmers. One of them is sleeping. But Joshua does appear to be building, which... That's not quite how it's supposed to work. I assume it's because there was no power for a bit. So you felt that you couldn't do the research you required. 
So you went to do something else? Seems likely. Have we learnt about Transformers? We're, there we go. Now we've learnt about Transformers. Excellent. Let's build one. Next thing we can learn about is smart batteries. There we go. Let's learn about some smart batteries. You're going to appreciate this work when it's finished, Deeps, because you're going to be able to have showers. And that'll be nice. You'll enjoy that. How are you doing taming these, Joshua? Not yet. New printable. Be someone who can build. <sighs> um... Oh no, we can't take Ellie. Ellie is a digger who cannot build at all. Alright then, Travaldo it is. We've got a decorator who can only decorate. That's going to be super helpful. In you come, Travaldo. You are not helpful at all. Um, we're not even going to give you your art hat. We're going to give you a carry hat. Because nuts to you. <laughs> Frankly. Sort out your priorities. Uh, we're actually going to make it so that you cannot do decorating to begin with. Um, because we don't want you to do any decorating until you are fully trained on the decorating. I know, Bray. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. Um, and then I'm going to put you... No, I'm not going to put you down on those. What I'm going to do instead is we're going to put you up for tidying... Uh, Operating? Yes, I think so. Supplying and storing. So that's how we're going to control what you do. But obviously now you're building a transformer because of course you are. Let's give you a schedule. Here you go. We've got one here. I'll make a new one while we're uh, in here. We've got enough beds and tables. Yes, we're all we're all fine for beds and tables. One day. One day we'll get somebody who can actually, like, build. But apparently not today. Right then. This makes me uh, more interested in getting in here. Though that will require... Fuglestrampen to, um... Learn about... The next digging. Let's have a look. Duplicate skills. Where are you? Ah, that'll be quite soon. So yes, I think that prioritises coming up here a bit more. This is going to result in a whole bunch of sand falling on everyone's heads, but... Such is life. Oh no, it won't, because it'll fall to like there and there because of the airflow tiles. Maybe we should do that all the way down. Oh no, because we're going to want to put a... um. Fire pole. That's the thing. And that is the thing I was thinking of. Fire poles. But it would be sort of nice. Maybe we'll put one like lower down as well. We'll put this sort of system lower down somewhere so that we can't um, drop all of our stuff to the bottom of the map. Because that was a bit of a problem in the last one by the end. Because they were having to climb through so much unbreathable air to get the stuff at the bottom of the map. You can have second improved carry, Kaylee. One day. One day you'll be a mechatronics engineer. That day isn't particularly soon, but one day. Okay, we've decided to start building this stuff, have we? I'd love to know what controls what they think they should build at any given moment. Because it doesn't always make any sense. Are we building sandstone insulation tiles? We sort of are. I'd sort of rather not do that. We do have some igneous, so cancel that, my lovelies. Let's let's build some more sensible. If we're gonna build insulation tiles. Well, let's at least build them out of a reasonable material. There we go. Excellent. Soon we'll
will be able to get in here and I'm going to deconstruct all of this stuff. I'm excited by free refined metal. Um, do we want to break in to get that sweetle? I mean, maybe. What have we entombed? Oh, that door. I see what we've entombed. I was confused for a minute. I was like, what door have you entombed? I don't understand. Yeah, we have still managed to obviously drop a bunch of sand to the bottom of the uh, thing as well, though. There we go. That's that sorted. This sand is all going to drop down to the bottom of the... Uh, oh, no, just here. Just here. Not so bad. Let's dig that out as well. I might get them to put the ceiling on while they're in here. Let's cancel these ones so we can get them to build this ceiling. Okay. Have we learned anything else by coming up a tiny bit higher? Not really. I don't think we've seen anything particularly that we didn't know about. that is. Is that another vacillator? Hmm. Now is it the symbol read vacillator point of interest building? It might be. I wouldn't say no to two vacillators. You know we'll get something rubbish though. See you now, Shrek. Have a good one. Now, we've built all of this, so we can actually enable this building for a minute. lose these bristle blossoms in the end because this oxalite is going to um, cease to exist and assumably that will result in the bristle blossoms no longer well having a title to grow in oh well we'll do what we can uh, should we keep this back here I don't know we'll decide that later Excellent. So we just want to watch this. Once this is full to here, we're just going to um, disconnect these uh, power wires. Because from there we can set up the water sieve and the rest of the stuff. Full. Excellent. I think you're probably full enough. Let's, uh, no, no, not the pitch pump. Deconstruct that wire. Posture check? I think I sort of automatically did it, did it, Jeff? Uh, you can say, no, uh, no, I don't want you to de deconstruct it. I just want you to disable it for now. Until we've learned about smart batteries. I hope you're having a good one. Jeff, welcome in. Uh, you're going to enjoy that, aren't you? I mean, you could dig this stuff instead. Or this. I mean, this has been waiting to be dug for ages. No one's got around to it. One day. One day. been at the DMV for the last two hours. My understanding of um, the DMV is that that can't be a good thing. Um, we don't we don't really have anything equivalent to the DMV here. We have uh, 
I can't even remember what we call them. We have the people that you have to send your license to and stuff. The DVLA, that's what we call them. Um, but they don't, they don't have, there's no way you can go. You just have to send it off. To get a new license. So. It's, um. It is not something that we regularly have to get involved in. Which, from what I hear about being at the DMV, is, um... You had to go and get the title for a car. Uh, yeah, no, ours, ours definitely doesn't do that. We, um... That sort of stuff is all done without you having to go to a place to do it. And they needed five dollars in cash, which I don't carry. I mean... Is the DMV actually in the 70s? Is that where you go to the DMV? You just go to the 70s to um, attend? It still always looks like it when I see it on American shows and stuff. Ah, Fruglis Stramben. Super hard digging for you. That's what we want. Now you can dig through a bisolite. Which means we can get our copper. Which is something I want. Yay! We learnt something. Don't know what. Oh, smart batteries. Amazing. That's why we want the copper. Um. Next. Oh, I think I want the water sieve so that we can finish our toilets. Let's do that. One would think. Government always 30 years behind. I mean, yes. That is, that is often true even here. I mean, I say even here, like we're a whole modern, exciting thing, which we're obviously not, but you know. Uh, right, I think we're going to prioritise up some of these, because I want to get the free copper before I smash up some copper. But I also want to get to... the thing we're smashing up copper for. Power. That's the thing we're smashing up copper for. So we're just going to build up through there. And then we are going to deconstruct automation. All of that. Thank you. Because if the game's going to give me free refined metal, I'm definitely taking it. Are you trying to vassalize yourself, Draco? I'm not sure that's going to go well for you, to be honest. Oh, here's another hatch. Quick, wrangle said hatch. Uh, we can also dig out these now. No going in there. Excellent. Oh, we've also got some more mealwood seeds. We can plant some more food, which is also good. Nobody is running on the wheel, which is less good. Geraldo, why aren't you running on the wheel? Where's Kaylee? Kaylee's priority should be running on the wheel. Um, well, I suppose this is six. Yeah, this is six, so it's going to override Kaylee's desire to run on the wheel. It's all right. This, this bit's going to be done soon. Excellent. Eslin's decided to run on the wheel. That's what we like to see. Do 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 do. Right then. Oh, I can't set it up. What are we going to want back here? I am going to want a. Am I going to put a carbon skimmer here? No, I'm not going to put a carbon skimmer here. Am I? You needed the exercise. Seems fair. There's no point putting a carbon skimmer here.
because the carbon dioxide won't be here. That's largely why there's no point to it. I want a deodorizer. I'm gonna want a bin. Bin. Make a pretty granite bin because this bin's gonna be here for the rest of time. Then we're gonna have the water sieve, which I recall being four. Then we're gonna have another deodorizer. Then a liquid tank, I guess. And then we'll think about where we can put some thimble reeds. It might not be quite warm enough. Uh, it's just about warm enough, I think, for thimble reeds. Can we see any? Growing? Oh, this is a really small slime biome. It's worth noting. We will want to get through it so we can get to here. Um, but it should mean that we could actually just deodorize this oxygen and clear the slime lung out of it without too much trouble. Um... Can I see any thimble reeds? No, I could look them up, but never mind. It doesn't get matter that much until we actually get any, so. Probably a liquid tank in the short term to hold the excess polluted water until we get some thimble reed to grow from it. Ah, we do know about smart batteries, don't we? So we can plan one out. We're going to make it out of... Oh, I can't. Because we haven't discovered refined metals. Is that so? We're going to be discovering refined metals in just a moment. Thank you. How many dupes have we got? Seven? Alright, that's okay. Insufficient oxygen generation. We shouldn't have insufficient oxygen generation, you know. Uh, well, if there's no power to the oxygen diffusers, that is going to give us insufficient oxygen generation, to be fair. That is the sort of way that that is going to happen. I see. Both of our builders are on break. That isn't super helpful. How are we doing? We've nearly got enough seeds for all our mealwood. In fact, I think we have. That's nice. Eslin definitely spends more time running on the wheel than I would prefer, but uh, what can you do? Okay, he's going to build a ladder. Ah, oh, this could get dug up, by the way. Don't need some random muck root lying around when we could be um, doing another thing with it. Eating it. That's the thing we could be doing with it. I knew there was something. I knew there was something. Have we built this on a six? And we have. I'm going to cancel it so I can build it on a five. So I can remember that we should be building things on a five, essentially. That's what I'm looking for. Being able to remember that we need to turn our building down. Because it's only this that I really want built in that sort of hurry. so that we can get to the excitement of refined metal. Stick that out. Excellent. Eslin has some uh, machinery skill because running on the wheel again. We're going to try and help you with that. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to help you because, like, even though we've got more wheels, people clearly don't have time to be running on them. But the dupe number is only going to go up, so time for running on wheels is only going to increase. Uh, 
Excellent. What am I going to do with this? I've built that in exactly the wrong place, because I'm probably going to make this another ranch, aren't I? That would make sense. Um, so yes, this is exactly in the wrong place, because we're going to want some doors here. Does running the wire visibly decrease morale? I always used to run through the floor. Uh, regular while, yes. Well, not really morale, but it does have negative decor. Um, does... Have I got any that's running through the floor? I don't run it through the floor initially because it is my habit to maintain um, the natural tiles where possible in the early game. Um, it's not really necessary in this playthrough because like, we just literally can't get pips anytime sensibly. But um, it's still kind of a habit I've got to be fair. Oh, we've got... look. That's not an insignificant amount of copper we're gaining from this. We might even enough, have enough to build a whole battery. That would be pretty super. Uh, assumably, there are, underneath that, automation wires that we could also deconstruct without um, disturbing it. Let's have a quick look at the automation overlay. I don't even know about the automation overlay because I've never learned about automation. That is going to be a thing we need to learn about after we've learned about the next thing. Because, yeah, apparently we don't know about automation, so that is a problem. No, oh, I do have automation. There we go. Oh, there's some here as well. There's only probably this bit that we can get to, though. They've built this, this facility out of obsidian because Gravitas were super weird. We could come up the back to claim... Um, why don't I have an automation? Oh, okay, whatever. We could... We could come up and round to get, like, most of this copper if we wanted. Which wouldn't be not worthwhile. God, look at that. That is that is a pretty good haul. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I think we can enable this wheel because it doesn't actually connect to anything right now. Okay. Oh, Nislin. We need you to learn things. Ideally. How are we doing with the hatches? Ooh. Two of them are tame. The first two are tame now. How is your reproduction? 26? What about you? 96. Excellent. Soon we will actually need to think about what we can do with eggs. Once we have this up and running, we might think about an incubator setup back here. Um, we'll have to smash up some metal for that, though, even if we do that. But I am tempted to come up here. Um, let's dig that out. Because essentially, if we come all the way up here, we can get a whole bunch of... Um, More metal. Which seems great. Do 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 deconstruct automation. Uh I don't think we'll be able to reach that one without getting into the cop into the chlorine, which I don't really want to do. So oh not that. This one. This one's fine. We'll deconstruct that one. Lovely. Hopefully it pops up and doesn't fall down. Uh, we'll see. It's worth a try. Have we learned anything else? Oh, we've learned about a cold biome. Up there. Can we see anything else that's important to note? Not really. 
just yet. Excellent. When do we get another duplicate? 0.7 cycles. Okay. What's going on here? Why is this outside of a stable? Oh, because they keep cutting a hole in this. That's fine. They'll sort it out. That will be sorted out in due course. Amy has a skill point. Excellent, Amy. Do you know what? Because farming isn't all that. We're going to give you improved carry one to counteract your noodle arm. So now your strength is only minus one, which is better. Okay. Yay! Go you! So now you can be fast and also pick things up. It'll be excellent. Might as well bring, build one of these in here. Uh, as I say, I think what we'll do is we'll wind up, we won't do it yet, but we'll wind up moving that a little bit so that we can put doors here. Uh, dig that up. Dig that up. We're not going to want that. We're going to plant more mealwood now. I mean, mm, we might actually wait. We might, astoundingly, we might actually have more, too much mealwood. So that's three people and a bit. That is another three people. So that's six dupes. Yeah, we've got too much mealwood. So we're going to hold off on setting down any more uh, planter pots. Well, we might put the planter pots down, but we definitely won't plant them until we get some more dupes, frankly. Astounding as it is to say. Our early game setting stuff up is going all right. If only the setting the deeps up was going better. Did we learn about um, fire poles? We did not learn about fire poles. Fair enough. Would have liked to know about fire poles, but it's not to be. Alright, you might as well build this, because that's definitely going to exist. Let's get building the um, bits of wire that won't cause them to start running on these wheels until we've built the battery. Because that is not what we want to happen. Sorry, I was looking at Trafaldo and noticing that they seem to have improved strength. <laughs> because they were doing pretty well at that. Mm. So, yes, we definitely want to dig up here. At least until we can see as far up in the biomes as possible. It might take a minute, but... Oh, are you digging that out? Excellent. Right, this is the thing we want to dig out. How long is this? So we could go to there. That is the longest this could be. Okay. So 
so I think we're gonna dig this one out as well. Cool. Get rid of some of this stuff. Ah, excellent. Joshua's picking up the copper, finally. We certainly don't have insufficient resources. Amazingly. But that is just not true. Research complete. Right, we've learned about water sieves. Uh, so the next thing I need to learn about is the last thing for our power setup, which is automation wire, which apparently we hadn't learnt about. Shouldn't take us very long. Ah, Eslin is a yodeler, which is a pretty good boost. Do you boost yourself with your yodeling? Yodeling. Yes, machinery construction strength. Have you been serenaded? You have not apparently been serenaded. I'm not sure how useful machinery construction strength is for our researcher, but you know, it's better than nothing. I do enjoy yodeling. It's um, yes, it's a very enjoyable uh, new, super productive thing. Well, it's too hot up there. How hot is it up there? Oh, it's bloody hot up there. Fair. Wow. It is actually bloody hot up there. Okay. Well, that's interesting. We'll um possibly want to insulate this off again then. Once we once we've done this bit, we might in fact just want to insulate this off and try and ignore it. <sighs> yes. Building entombment. What have we entombed? You've entombed this bed, Fugelstrample. Maybe stop that. Printables. Is it going to be someone who can build? Operating building? Oh, slow learner. Mm. Digging and building? Oh, bottomless stomach. Operating and digging. I mean, that, but also undigging. Wow, these are some choices, eh? Why is everybody skilled in aesthetic design? I'm not taking the bottomless stomach. We can't be dealing with bottomless stomachs. So I'm guessing we're taking Turner? Long time learner, but wanted to ask something. Started a new run yesterday and saw that slime lung was present on clay. Is that new? I don't think so, Christopher. I think that is a um, that is a known thing. I think it can spread to slime, algae, and clay. I might be wrong, but I think it can it can spread to the other organics. I think uh, I think that is a known thing, but um, I'm I'm prepared to be corrected. Oh, I think we have to take Turner. I'm not very happy about it. I kind of want to take Devon, but we can't have bottomless stomachs. It's essentially a whole other person to feed. Well, it's not. It's half an extra jeep to feed. But this one starts with hard digging. I hear Devon. You can't be Devon if we choose this Devon, Leofar. Um, because whoever we choose this way, this time, is going to be Bryn. Filthy organics detected, indeed. I don't know, Devon or Turner? I tell you what, I need a very quick break. And um, while we do, we'll have a little poll. And you guys can have a think about whether you like Devon or Tur Turner. New poll. Devon or Turner? Devon. 
Turner. Uh, just three minutes? Yeah, sure. Excellent. Um, should we put up the max value per vote? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can't put up the max value per vote enough to ever make people not be able to rig my polls. So <laughs> I suppose we could turn it off. But there you go. There is a poll. Devon or Turner, you decide. Um, you should be able to access the poll and have a vote. Um, enjoy that. I will be one second and I will be right back. Can I put the B right back up? Oh, no. Well, I can. I can make it a bit smaller so that it doesn't cover um, Devon. There we go. I'll be back now. Ah, nuts. I said loads of things. I said loads of exciting things. Democracy is rigged. Um, we're taking Devon. 
In we come. I mean, this is definitely better. Strength building, digging, and in fact, Bryn. There you go, Bryn. You're a bottomless stomach yokel, but you start with hard digging and you are a digging builder. Hi, Bryn. Let's um, give you... What shall we give you? That is an interesting question. Should we give you super hard digging? I think we will. We could also give you improved construction, which might be nice. I think we'll give you super hard digging to begin with. In you come. Calories are not the constraint, to be honest. I mean, I don't know about that, Arisia. We did um, starve last time. But no, I don't think calories should be the the constraint. <clears throat> so I um I think there's there's a reasonable um argument there to say that we shouldn't have died to Oh no, we just didn't have enough calories. They might have survived. Certainly the pathing was a thing. Uh but equally we didn't have enough enough calories. I think there was a bit of both. Right, this I'd like to fill with sand. That's what you are there for. Nuts. Filtration medium. Sand. We'd also like to build our new refinement building, which is the water sieve. Right. Um, in. Out. That should be fine. Okay. Let's build you. Have we learned about um, automation wires yet? No, not quite. Nearly, nearly. There's lint on it. But no, I think there is a reasonable um, suggesting that um, calories shouldn't have been the limiting factor, I think is entirely reasonable. I think it was largely my own fault that calories were the uh, limiting factor. We are going to take a deodorizer now, which is going to be handy for two things. One, maybe breaking in here, learning a bit more about the map. And two, we want to put them around here so that all the polluted dirt that this kicks out gets deodorized and we don't have to worry about it. We now have the automation wire so we can automate up our running machines. And once they're automated, we can additionally wire them up that's the thing that is what i was trying to get to is anyone ever going to do this ah, it's on people's lists maybe one day people will do that when uh, who knows there we go lovely let's dig that out we're building this excellent Uh, we could do with learning about incubators pretty soon as well. How many critters are in this room? Five. All right, you're still all right for the minute. You can sit there with your eggs for now. But we will want to learn about incubators reasonably soon. We still don't have enough jeeps to actually do them. Oh, priorities. Bryn, you are a build digger. There we go. Nuts. Um, and your schedule is this one. There you go. The addition of Bryn might mean that we need to go to two, three breaks for people. Um, because Bryn will need to eat a lot of calories. And they might struggle to eat sufficient calories unless we... Um, allow people longer to eat. How is this going? No, we've still got some automation wire to build. Right, that is insulated in, so hopefully that will keep the creeping heat from back there out. I'd probably like to get that one. Uh, hmm. Could do it from on top, maybe. We'll wait a bit though. We've got things that I'd actually like to get done before we worry about that. Mm, 
errands? No, Eslin is on it. Hello, Eslin. Make this open? There's probably no reason why not. We'll make this one open as well, if we ever get it. Go, oh, Eslin, indeed. It seems to take a surprisingly long time of just holding your hand on the thing for it to do anything, but eh, whatever. I think this one has a different animation where they do more stuff. There we go. <laughs> that was quite funny. You could just see them starting to... See Bryn starting to fall behind because of the lower athletics. Red light, green light. We have automation. <laughs> I like how they look like they are sw slowly twerking. That is definitely um, a thing that has been mentioned. Right, let's finish this power wire. And then... What do you set on? Yeah, that's correct. Oh. Alright, Kaylee already wants to do that. There's no point doing that, Kaylee. It's not connected to the thing. Get off. Just stop doing that a second until we've built this. That's it. You worry about building those wires? Excellent. Now we can enable this wheel. And now we're going to disable this wheel. For a minute. And what we're going to do here is we're going to deconstruct this. We're going to leave the fridge on this. I don't really want the fridge on this. Mm, no, change my mind. Right. That's not happening. We're just going to deconstruct this. We'll leave the battery on the line for now. No, we probably won't leave the battery on the line, but uh, this one is better. This one is better. The one that's connected to power is better. Hello, a squared pie. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. Right. We also need to build some things. There we go. We need to do that. Uh, we need to sever this. Uh, we probably don't need all of this. In fact, we need to sever that one as well. Because we're not going to need half of this. Clean water. So we'll probably run it back down into this in a second. Well done there, Fugelstrampen. I see that you've managed to use your super productivity to uh, do a nice quick severing. Excellent. Right. Well, we'll do use that water for something else at some point. Long commutes? Really? I mean, how are they doing that? Frankly. Right. It's going to be time to make people dip in here, I think, once they've built this. Are we learning about deodorizers? Eslin, are you learning about deodorizers right now? You are amazing. Also carbon skimming, which we're going to want in due course. But if we can hold off on the um, coal power, that's going to improve our lot. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Because it's not very helpful. Uh, oh, we've still got the... Oh, it popped in the wrong way. I can't get it that way. I wonder if it's all going to do that. I suppose it might do. Hang on. Let me cancel this first. So we make sure that there's space for it to pop in on the sides to see if we can get it to go that way. I have no idea if we'll be able to get it to go that way, but it's got to be worth a try. Free refined metal has got to be worth a try. Excellent. Uh, 
probably turn this up to a six. To be honest, someone's already filled it with sand. It produces more clean water. Right then, let's deconstruct these. We're going to replace them with uh, sinks, proper sinks, and then we're going to deconstruct those and replace them with proper sinks. The next thing we need to research after we've researched the deodorizers is a liquid tank. Uh, because otherwise this is going to back up pretty quickly because we don't have anywhere for the overflow to go yet. So that's next on the list. Oh, well, at least we're managing to actually fill a battery these days. Which is nice. Sink. Medicine. Sink. One there, thank you. Oh, we're going to have to connect these back up, but that's fine. One there. Right, let's get these built. There, 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 and there. We're just going to change where we want to sever this. Let's have another look at that. Severing there, thank you. And we can have proper bathrooms. That'll be exciting. Now we've got the way through here. Excellent. We'll at some point be over to activate that one as well. Wow, these maps are so small. <laughs> Look, there's the edge. Okay. Can we see anything? Have we learnt anything new? I mean, this is just a big... Uh, what's it biome? What is it called? can't even remember what this, this biome is called, but it's quite big, um, and so we can dig that out re relatively straightforwardly. I don't know if we'll find anything useful by doing that, though. Is it desert? We can look at the star map. Oh, do I want to look at the star map and see what things we've got? Oh, I think I'm going to hold off looking at the star map for a minute. Because it'll tell me what um, vents and geysers we've got. I mean, obviously we'll have a cool steam vent, a cool slush, and a cool salt slush. Uh, but what else we'll have? Or whether we'll have any extra ones? We had an extra cool steam vent last time. See? <laughs> oh, I'm glad we came for the end when they smack the button. <laughs> That's excellent. I think it might be called Wasteland or something. But uh, I don't remember offhand. And as I say, I don't want to spoil the surprise of um, what the stuff is. All right, these are now made. Are they connected to water? Uh, they are, there we go. Um, that'll be fine. So we can also deconstruct these two and replace them with proper sinks. You doing all right there, Bryn? Kind of, kind of doing all right. We can definitely move some of this here. I think we're gonna uh, dig this and try and fill this. Um, and then we're gonna try and pump some of this out over here. There's too much water to begin with, but um, we can have a go. Some of it we can move. Excellent. Insufficient oxygen generation. I mean, we still shouldn't have that. It just requires more running on wheels, frankly. Look, everyone's decided to run on some wheels for a bit. Colony achievement. Royal flush. Excellent. Let's get those new sinks built. Always important for a duplicate to wash their hands. Uh, oh, Eslin's eating. Let's check in here. Still only five critters, so that's fine. We don't have to worry about that. Oh, Amy is um, also uh, sparkle streaking. So as well as being naturally pretty fast, they're also a, a, a sparkle streaker, which is um, yeah, pretty cool. Definitely handy for the times when they're not farming. And they're running around picking stuff up. Yes, I know, but it's alright, you can have a shower. 
Should we give them another break slot so they can have showers, maybe? They still might not have time to have showers. The thing I like about the shower um, task, though, is that it actually continues on consecutive um, attempts. So if they don't successfully finish their shower, their next shower picks up from where they left off, which I'm pretty sure is not the way washing actually works. But, yeah, Arnie. Right, how are we getting on with this? We're doing all right? Aha, uh -huh, we've learned about deodorizers. What was the thing I said we need to learn about? It was a liquid tank. We need somewhere to put the overflow. We could also do with a couple of deodorizers to try and uh, keep our polluted dirt under control. In the very short term, I'm going to put a bin there. I'm going to try and collect any polluted dirt that's lying around and put it in there. Only like... Um, immediately, just so we can put it. That's definitely how it works. Is that how it works for me? Um, um, it's Gred Pie. I'm really glad to know that. I like this. That this is completely full of carbon dioxide now. Excellent. No, you don't need to wash your hands both ways. Only that way. As long as you wash them when you come out of here, we'll be fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. I think it's time that we annoyed the duplicants by uh, getting them to come down here, quite frankly, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry, duplicants, but... Uh, Yes, that's, that's where we're at. Uh, why am I... Mm, let's cancel that. I don't want those for a minute. We might get them to build a ladder this way. No, onto the top of there. Seems lovely. Right. Dig this stuff out. Uh, we can dig there and there. And then we can put a liquid pump in there. And we're going to pump some of this liquid out. Frankly, uh, we can also dig to the sides. We don't need any of that. There we go. Mm, we've got Eslin running on the wheel again. That's, that's not ideal. Eslin is not supposed to be the one who runs on the wheel, but I guess we'll live. Right. Whoa. That's way too much polluted oxygen around our base. It's kind of more than I would have expected. I wonder where it all came from. I guess some of it is, like, stuff going off, maybe? Right, here. Nine. Uh, polluted dirt. Oh, there's a hatch that's drowning in here. Can we wrangle it? I wonder if we can wrangle it before it drowns. If we can't, we're going to have to build a grill so that we can cook it into um, barbecue. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to wrangle it. Because I don't see our rancher heading over here. No, oh, no, here comes Joshua. You gonna be able to get it before it drowns? No. <laughs> we did truss it, but we didn't manage to successfully wrangle it. Right. We're gonna put an electric grill in here. We are gonna set our consumables to not meet. Uh, we're going to set our fridge to not muckroot. Good effort, Joshua. Indeed. Very good effort, Joshua. Or nutrient bars. They can go on the floor because they're not going to go off anyway. And then we can turn that meat into barbecue. And somebody can have barbecue. 
Excellent, that's it. You collect all that polluted dirt back here, behind these deodorizers, and hopefully these deodorizers don't bother disinfecting it. It's obviously a waste of time. We're deliberately filling it with muck. You know, so there's, there's not a lot of point. So even though like we're gonna have this polluted oxygen wandering around, if we shift all the polluted dirt into there, at least we can stop there being more, which should be good. Oh, it happened. No more bristle blossoms in here. Oh well, sucks to be you. All right, so a thing we are gonna wanna do is this. It's gonna come all the way up here and uh, liquid vent. So we can try and pump some of this out. Because, as you can see, it's slightly in the way of my ladder system. And by slightly, I mean completely. So I'd thank you to get on with that. How are we doing here? Still only five critters? What's up with you? Have more critters. Oh, they're all tamed now, I think. Yeah, they're all tamed now, so I suppose that's something. Joshua is getting there with these hatches. Even if we couldn't rescue the other one. We tried. Do, do, do. Then we're gonna go in there. Mostly just because I want to dig all this up. There isn't. Oh, there's a bit of gold amalgam over there. So there's a tiny bit of gold. Uh, but we want to dig this out. We want to get through here as well, so we can get into the teleporters. Uh, because one of our um, learnings from the last game that we did was that we need to do a better job with the second planet. We need to both... we just need to really manage it more efficiently. We need to think about how we keep it going a bit better. Excellent drill. Um, for now we're just gonna do barbecue. Uh, Gristleberry we should do because that is actually better than when they're not cooked. Uh, pickled meal we maybe won't bother with. I suppose we might. We've got to cook. Let's get with the cooking. We also need to start Drecos early. That is true. That is true. The problem with Drecos though is the gases. Ah, hello. Cool salt slush. Right. So we're gonna have to find some way up here. Duh. Oh, I don't like the look of that. But we are going to have to find some way up there into that. Oh, you have hypothermia. That's okay. They get hypothermia really easily. Look, this is 24.4 degrees. It's not like it's very cold down here. What's this? Um... I think we want to cancel this out so that we don't get too much down here. Okay. Got any duplicate skills? No. Uh, sad times. How's my tea? Is it drinkable yet? Just about. Water transfers heat a lot faster, so you think it, it, it bleeds their heat out of them too quickly. Could be. The duplicates certainly operate at considerably higher temperatures than humans do. Considering they don't die until, what is it? Like, it's pretty much 70 C or something you can take the duplicates up to before they um, really suffer from the heat at all. Which is quite impressive. 
Right. Let us now try deconstructing these and hope. Oh, we got some out. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. What have we what have we achieved? Ah, we made barbecue. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear that we have made barbecue. It should go in the fridge. Just so you know. Um, do you know what I'd like you to do, actually, duplicants? Can you uh, build a little tile there for a minute? So that we only have this much water down here? Bert has earned a skill point. Bert. Uh, we obviously got you to be a cook. But you are a cook who can build. I'm tempted to give you the building. I think I'll give you the carrying, though. You might get the building next, though, to be honest. Um, because everyone is doing a bit of building, and having that go quicker is certainly not a downside. Alright, there's still loads of down here, look. Um, that's all sandstone. So there's loads of um, diggable biome down here that we can go and investigate in. There is a vent and or geyser there. Uh, errands? Uh, it looks like there is still more polluted dirt. Do find it and put it in the thing. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, you're putting that polluted dirt in the thing. I don't care about that. Don't bother putting that polluted dirt in the thing. Let's just deconstruct this now. I think that's fine. We'll set up the liquid tank instead. Because, assumably, uh, it hasn't started to back up yet, but it is beginning to think about it. So, that's the next thing we want to do. And we're getting all up here. So annoyed that you dropped down there. I wonder if I did. Mm. I'll try deconstructing that one and we'll see if we can sweep it out sometime. It is shaping up. It's going okay. We'll see how it works. Thank you, punk. Um, we've got a long way to go. And we will be quite water dependent as ever. But at least we know where one of the uh, geysers is. I mean, it might be a pain in the backside to get up there, but we can work on it. We also need to start fish sooner. Is there anything that's holding me back from doing fish? Oh, I don't have any, um... What's the thing we don't have? Mechatronics. That's what we're... That's what's holding me back a bit from doing fish. I think we'll do fish as soon as we get mechatronics. That seems reasonable. Excellent. We should be doing another, yeah, point 0.3 cycles until we get another duplicate. Hopefully this one won't have a bottomless stomach and start eating us out of house and home. Uh, no, right, so we've learnt about these liquid reservoirs. That was the thing I was going for there. I think the next thing we want to go for is, I'm just checking other things on the way, but no, I think the next thing we want to go for is animal control, incubators, it's time for incubators. We can set up an incubator thing here, we could even set up a little drowning pool like here, um, in the short term, you know what, I'm quite tempted to just dig that out. and see what's in it. Do I want to do that? Uh, maybe not. I've changed my mind. Sorry, dupes. I've changed my mind. Uh, mm, we could do these two, and then we could 
build a door here and we could fill that with water. That would do us a, a tiny one tile drowning pit. And we can put some incubators in behind. Do we want to insulate this bit of the base as well? I suppose we might do. I think we might just want to insulate this side from the heat. How are you getting on? Slowly is the answer to that. You're getting on slowly. I mean, it's better than not at all. Right, we need a liquid reservoir here, please. Because of that. Because we are shortly going to have uh, way too much polluted water. And then, if we're lucky, one of these might be a thimble reed seed, and we can start thimble reed, which would also be nice. I would appreciate that. But we'd like to try and clear some of this water before we do that. And our life is generally very hard on our power generation and our dupes running on it. But, meh. I thank you so much for the follow, Flasipia. Flasipa? Flasipa? Hmm. Let me know. Right. You lot, I would like you to empty a bottle of water in here, please. So that we may drown hatches. How are you doing, hatches? How many of you are in there now? Still only five. But we have a new printable. The hatches might not be giving us... Um, I'm sorry, look at Ashcan. <laughs> I was like, oh, lovely, a farming rancher. Skilled mechatronics engineer. All right, then. Ashcan is crazy. I mean, they do have de decreased excavation, but I'm not really worried about that. Hello, Ashcan. Welcome in. Uh, We'll give you a farming hat, I guess. You are probably going to do some farming, but we're also going to uh, make sure. Yes, like it's going to it's going to be a it's going to be super right. We are going to have to make some more copper, though. How much do we have? Does it tell me how much we have? No. How goes the run? Well, Casa, have a look at Ashcan here, who um, is a Perfectly decent uh, farmer rancher who started with mechatronics. Kaylee, who is going to be our mechatronics engineer, still doesn't even have tinkering. So I'm pretty happy about that. Currently, I'm pretty uh, pleased. How long I will be pleased for? Who knows? But eh, just at the minute. Right then. Let's see if we can deconstruct these wires and get them out. We might not be able to. They might um, go inside. Oh, these ones went inside. That's disappointing. But if they popped up, then theoretically these should also pop up and we should get accents there. It's okay. I got used to it that people don't get my name correctly. The pronunciation is nothing special. Just read it like one S. So, Flasper. Thank you for letting me know, Flasper. And uh, welcome in. I hope you are having a good day. Right, we need to do some priorities for our new Ashcan, though. Uh, which is going to be building, operating, farming and ranching. We're actually going to put... Um, we're going to put their priorities like this, just for a minute. Uh because we want to, them to focus on doing the mechatronics building. Ranching mechatronics is a strange mix, but handy to have at least one mechatronics, even if they need to be reprioritized occasionally. Absolutely, I mean, it's not the perfect mix, but getting someone with uh, 
mechatronics so early that isn't terrible I think is is pretty good that is what I would say well that means I actually need to learn about all the mechatronics now <laughs> I haven't done any of the research for mechatronics because I didn't think we'd need it yes we've got all this copper right if we were to build a smart battery how much do we have 70 okay can we Can we bring that here? Uh, I don't think I have a... no, I'll just have to use a regular bin. Build me a regular bin there and we'll put all the refined metal in it. Because I'd like to seal this up, because as discussed, it's very hot up here. And I'd like it not to be so hot down here. This is quite hot. Maybe we should replace that with insulated tile because actually that's pretty hot there in the abyssalite so we might do that too so that we don't get too much heat in right this please put refined metal in it at like a nine off you go go and fetch it all so I can um, seal that up uh, we'd also eh, five is fine we're not in a huge rush for that how many eggs have you got still only five Apparently so. That's it. You go and collect all of that. You don't have to collect it five kilos at a time. <laughs> you could collect more than that. I wonder if it's because these these guys had already targeted the rest. That's possible. Thank you for this place where I feel like, like I belong. First time here and I feel great. You have great friendly energy. I'm very glad. Um, Flasper. We are, well, we try to be a pretty uh, chill community. That is sort of what I'm going for. Nice and relaxed, but, you know, we're quite happy to uh, talk about the more important things too when that comes up, which I think is a, a decent way to have it. But you do need someone who's prepared to moderate that, really. Right, heat. This. I don't want this heat getting through. And then we'll do this one as well, and then that'll probably do it. Maybe we'll just go all the way across here. We got all of the copper we can actually get to without letting all this chlorine free in the world. I think so. I wonder if that's the only way we can get in there. No, no, we could pick a way this way. If we wanted, uh, there's not loads of stuff, but we could pick a way through there. So I think that's fine. We are going to seal that off, frankly, because I don't want that there. We need some ladders to be able to make that happen. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Should be more than enough. Lovely. People are doing this. This is still working off and on we are going to need more copper now we have a sense of how much copper we actually have we had 70 so let's do 7 and that should allow us to build the two what's it's mechatronics things we also could do with an incubator so i think we'll put in another four so that we can have at least one incubator on the go which i think i will power um but we'll power it on some automation so that it doesn't have power all the time and we will probably power it on its own little grid that doesn't require um that doesn't use up this energy why two hatch feeders I've literally no idea, Matric. I've been using this design since I started, pretty much. Um, I got it from Francis John. I have no idea why there are two hatch feeders. It's probably a reasonable question that I've just never thought about. Yeah, I don't suppose it's really necessary. It's not like I ever see the... Uh, the hatch is wanting to eat and not being able to. 
We could probably make it one smaller. That is a reasonable thought. <laughs> no worries, Eslin. Because of low capacity, dupes can deliver for two feeders. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Well, yeah, but if we don't need the feeders, we could give the hatches less room to run in, which might be worthwhile. Oh, eggs. Lovely. Eslin, I hope you and Kitty have a great night. Um and that she feels better soon. I'm sort of tempted now to make this one smaller. Let's do that. Why not? I mean, there's going to be a, a ranch here in, in the end. Uh, let's dig that out, please. It's interesting, isn't it? The things that you have literally never considered. You've been doing the whole time and you've never really thought about it. It's just a thing that you do. But I think we're going to try having a slightly smaller one. I don't know if either is going to make enough odds, but nonetheless. Oh, I thought that was a hatch for a minute. It's just a blossom seed falling down. thought it was going to be more exciting than that, but no. Right. Uh, we might as well get these built, though, while we're thinking about it. I think, ideally, I'd like this one to be a, a sedimentary rock one. We don't have very much sedimentary rock yet. I really want to make a fully automated ranch at some point, where you never have to wrangle. Um, there definitely are ones. I, uh, I have seen designs for them. Um, they sort of work um, in some ways similar to the fish one, where you you drop them into the ranch, like you ship the eggs out and then drop them into the ranch when you need them. So I think in general the principles are very similar to <sighs> Ashcan. Get out of there. I've seen a design for doing it with hatches and sweetles. Yes. I haven't found it particularly worthwhile. I mean, you still need to groom them, which is the actual time-consuming bit. So, unless you're wild farming them in some way, I'm not sure it's worthwhile. Is what I'd say. But, you know, that doesn't mean I'm right about that. Right, let's see if we... Oh, hang on buildings please let's try and deconstruct those so maybe they won't go running up there again we can lock this yes i'd like to put sedimentary rock in that but we don't have anywhere near enough sedimentary rock yet but hopefully oh no there's not any in here what sort of you are the most rubbish slime biome i've ever encountered i don't mind the dupes doing labor I'd just like to be able to not have to think about ranches once they're set up and running. I don't think I ever think about ranches once they're set up. Like, once you've got a, a drowning pool and some incubators, you don't really have to think about them. Or I don't think about them anyway. Maybe I should be thinking about them. But I certainly don't. Is uh, the answer to that. Right, we are going to set you up to be... Oh no, here you are. Maybe I've been doing it wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Or maybe there's something I do think about that isn't uh, obvious to me. I mean, that could certainly be a thing that's true. I just need more ranches. I mean, that is also one of the ways you can do it. Right, raw mineral. This one's going to be sedimentary rock. It's going to be a little while before we can get that one going, uh, partly just because we don't have any sedimentary rock.
Right, we can't actually build these things yet, so... Uh, because we haven't researched them. So Ashcount, you can go back on farming and ranching. And we'll put down your operating and building. Nah, never mind about digging. Um, on the grounds that we haven't done the research. <laughs> so I don't know what they are, so I can't build them. Right, how is this going? Lovely, this is empty. Yes, this has some polluted water in it with many, many food poisoning germs. That's completely fine. This is now ranch sized. Yes, this is now ranch sized. So in the future, we can have a ranch here. Are we ever going to get on with this? Who knows? We might leave them to sort of potter along for a minute in the hope that we will get to some of these things. Insufficient oxygen generation. I mean, we are reaching the point where we could do with a another oxygen diffuser. Maybe here, to begin with. Uh, we'll clear some space above it. And that is obviously going to result in all that sand falling down, but that would be fine. Bren's doing some punching of a machine. Seven. Okay, we need to keep an eye on that and check whether we need to move out the eggs. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I would like to... Do we want airflow? Would that make sense? Oh, I can't replace that now. It's got water in it. Well, I could just drop the water down. It's not the end of the world. They've only put one thing in. Maybe? Maybe. Let's, let's get on that. Uh, let's pause you for a minute. So that nobody's doing it. Yeah, possibly I overwhelm my problems with ranching with um, numbers of dupes. Certainly could be possible. Go on, Eslin. How are we getting on? What are you even learning about? Oh, yeah, incubators. Right, after incubators, this. We need to learn these. Thank you. Uh, yes, that will do. Maybe we should have coal generators. I'm kind of invested in having them run on the wheel, though. Obviously, there's no good reason for this investment. I just currently feel moderately invested in having them run on the wheel. Alright, six. Have you got... Yeah, you've still got things to do. Let's have a look at how much... Uh, oh, it's in here anyway. 170. With nine left, which is... 400 and... Ashcan? What's going on? Ashcan. Did we never give you a schedule? Oh, God. Poor Ashcan. There you go, Ashcan. I'm sorry that we never gave you a schedule. We were so excited about you that we just forgot to actually schedule you. Apologies. Right, we have nine dupes now. Uh, we still have nine dupes worth of mealwood. So we don't need to worry about um, additional dupes, just additional um, pot planter pots just yet. Oh, 
research complete. Right, we know about incubators. And we'd quite like to build one. But to go with our incubator, we're going to have two in the end, aren't we? Do we need to prepare for there being two? I think we probably do. Right. Uh, yes, sure. Ooh, is there room? Is there room for this setup? Get a battery there. This there. Incubator, incubator. I mean, there's not strictly room. But this doesn't have to be a permanent wall. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Right. We're going to start with one incubator anyway. There you go, incubator. You need a battery. We're not going to spend refined metal on it. We're just going to use a... Um, are we... They're a bit hot if we use a big battery. I'm going to turn that back on to enable auto bottle now they've built this. Uh, I'd also like you to sweep this out. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, do we know all the automation we need to know for this? We do not. Right, we need to learn some other automation as well. Uh, is it soon? Let's have a look. Automation. We need to know about these. Yeah, it's the next one. So we'll add that on as well. We'll do the mechatronics, then we'll learn about this. It also has a knot gate, so that's also everything I'd need for the fish. Which also means that we can do the fish. Which I have to say, kind of makes me want to rip all of this out and put the fish here. Where's my uh, fish? That's not fish. It's definitely a lot bigger than fish. Fish. Oh, I want to put it exactly there. Look how neatly it fits with everything. It just makes me so happy if it goes there. I mean, that's the biggest load of nonsense I've ever heard, but it does. Look, it fits really neatly here. Because then that door goes on the bottom of that. That's why I want to put the fish under here. Is that a mod? This is a mod. This is uh, Blueprints Fixed, which allows you to create blueprints. Also, you can do snapshots, so you can also just blueprint stuff that you literally have now. So I can say blueprint this ranch. And we could build it up here. Uh, it's a mod. Flatspur. But uh, yeah, I quite like it. It also allows me to keep some of my more common builds and also some of my more technical builds, like, in a place where I can find them. Lovely. All right. Let's fill this with water. Um... This also makes me want to maybe stop this. Let's disable this for a minute because we might want to put fish in here. If we're putting fish in here... Where are we putting power? <laughs> That's the next question. If we're putting fish up here, where do we put power? We also have to get fish. There is, there is also that problem. Uh, oh, of course we learnt about that with that. Um, there aren't any fish in this little one. I mean, there are fish here, which we we could sneak up and round and get them. Uh, we'd have to... We'd probably just want to brick it back up, to be fair. That might be worthwhile. Let's start considering doing that. Come here, you. There's a bunch of things right now I want to consider. 
One of which is you building a ladder all the way up here. Uh, do 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 do. One two three four. So like this would be a floor. I think it's fine. Do we want to just go across? Can we just go across? If we just went across here? No, we're going to be too low down there. So we're going to have to build a, um, a ladder up anyway. So I think what we can do is come across here a little bit and get in. I'm tempted to do it now so we can go and get these um, Paku fillets. Because, like, why would we not want to get Paku fillets? Uh, here, I guess? I'm going to have to be slightly cautious about the slime lung, but uh, I think it's worth it, getting the fish up and running. The sooner we get the fish up and running, the um, better, essentially. That was certainly one of our learnings from the last one. I think what we do is we break in and then we seal it back up. Uh, how old are you? They're not that old, so we'll have to wait a bit for them to have eggs anyway. Building entombment. What have we entombed? That's not something we want to entomb. Please dig it out. I always go for first first, then hatches. Fish first, then hatches. I mean, hatches are literally in your starting biome, which is why I tend to go for um, hatches first. Whereas fish always require you to go breaking into other places. Which doesn't necessarily mean that you are not going to do that, but it, it does add a, a level of stuff that you have to do. Fish don't need ranching. Oh, there's an egg there as well. Hmm. Oh, do you know what we could do? Why don't I do this in a more sensible way? Um, why don't we actually just build a lock and actually just come in here? Uh, we... We could do some work on making sure that we run the water out the way and we'll try and run it all down here. And then we can have refinement as well. I think that's a, a more sensible way of going about this. Um, no, hang on. Cancel that, thanks. Dig that out. Cancel that. Dig this out. Let's build a little liquid lock. Do we need it to be insulated? Well, why not? Why not? There we go. Um, well, we can leave that. Okay. Alright, how is this going here? Oh, this is the last one we should need. Oh, hello. Put a hatchling egg in there, please. Excellent. Exactly a thousand kilos. Seems great. Let's turn that off and deconstruct it. Let's put a door across here. Uh, we still haven't learned how to do any mechatronics yet, so... Eslin's, Eslin's getting there. Eslin is getting there. We haven't yet got Eslin any help, so... We can't rush her. It would be unreasonable. learn about conveying. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this water here on the grounds that um, I'm going to want to fill a fish tank, for one thing. So, we're going to want to move a couple of things across. Uh, speaking of which... Come here, fish. If I want to put it there... 
Okay, we want to move the pitcher pump to probably the other side of where the uh, drowning pool is. Let's deconstruct these and we can put a pitcher pump in there instead. Oh, we've got a skill. Somebody's got a skill. Travaldo. Oh, you're our artist, are you? All right, we'll give you an artist hat now. It's fine. You are not very useful, but what are we going to do? That's what we've got. Right, we're going to move this pump across. Thanks. Why is there polluted oxygen here? Where is it all coming from? I'd really like to know why there's so much polluted oxygen in my base. I am in general against it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Um, have we learnt about? We haven't even learnt about that yet. Since the automatic drop off doesn't actually um happen until we get to mechatronics anyway, we won't bother. We'll just build the mechatronics when we get there. Right, you are going to be attached to a cycle sensor, so we might as well get that. I was thinking about whether I wanted to build a non-boily battery. I think we might. I think I see a way for us to do refinement re reasonably early, so we're okay to waste it. Oh, hello, here's the natural gas geyser. All right. Oh, there's another geyser here next to this as well. Yeah, we definitely want to come in here and have a look at it. That is definitely a thing we're going to want to do. What have we done? Did we research something? Amazing. Let's have a look. Yes, we now know how to make loaders. Auto sweepers rather, but that is it. And we have access to the conveyor overlay. Shipping. Auto sweeper. Lovely. In you get. We have a skill again. Who's got a skill? Joshua. Do I need to have critter ranching too? I don't think you need it yet. I think we're going to give you improved carry one first. You can have critter ranching too afterwards. Oh, Amy is still really happy. That's nice. Where's Eslin? You sleeping? No, no, you, you're researching. I see you. Excellent. Uh, let's dig this up, please. No, they're not going to be... Oh, no, you can get in there. That's fine. Uh, let's, let's cancel building some of these. They're not really necessary. Let's be minimal. And we will put a, uh, not one of these. What am I looking for? This. We're looking for a bottle emptier. Let's put that up there. Eslin has a skill point. Excellent. Do we want to put you in material study? We're not doing material study for quite a while. It does make your science quicker. Yes, I think for Eslin, we will just make the science quicker. Uh, it also gives us to pay the bills. We filled out Eslin's whole line of skills. Um, let's change your hat, Eslin. Ah, oh, now we are starting to build these things, so we're going to change Ashkan's priorities back to building. Building is now what I want you to focus on. 
ash can so that we can get some of these mechatronic C things built. Ah, can we dig this out as well? Thank you. That would be nice. Nine. We're still okay. Where is Ashcan? Ah, on break. Fair. Have we seen anyone in the showers yet? I don't think they've got enough time for showers. They're going to start needing them though when they have to walk through this all the time. Because it's going to make them mad. Frankly. Printables? Right. Dupe number 10. Who have we got? <sighs> well. There's some choices. Um, we're going to be taking Ruby. I mean, just building on its own isn't in any way my favourite. But I'm not taking an anemic and it's Nisbet again. We had a flatulent Nisbet in the last one. This one is nowhere near as good as the one we took. Um, we're going to take Ruby. Come in, Ruby. You have a skill point. Um, yeah, we'll give you your building hat. Why not? Uh, priorities... I wonder if we have enough dining tables. We'll have to check. You are going to be a real digger. This bit I just love farting. Apparently so, yes. Apparently that is Nisbet's thing. I think we have exactly nine. Do we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we do. Right, so we need some more. Um. Oh no, we haven't learned about that yet. There we go. We'll have another nine there. That should keep us going for a little while. At least until we get towards the late game and I lose track of everything like last time. Late game. It was more mid game to be fair. Kaylee has a skill point. Kaylee. You too can start to move towards mechatronics. And you are actually going to be our mechatronics engineer when we're all done. This liquid water enable auto bottle. Let's go. Let's have a look at the errands. What do you mean it's a low priority? No, you see, it's not a low priority. That's a lie. Oh, were you sleeping? That might be why it was a low priority. Sleeping is an acceptable reason for you not getting on with it. Frankly. Okay, we're going to need some power for those, so we might as well get these power lines in. Okay, I see how you're sort of coming along with that. Good thing I saved. I didn't know the dupe that gets trailblazered is yeeted from crewmate and got left by a rocket after colonizing a, a couple of saves ago leofar um we abandoned emily and annabelle on a planet having had exactly that problem and they had to stay there for a significant amount of time because we actually had to like i think build a new rocket to go and fetch fetch them one of my platies is just repeatedly kissing one of my hillstream loaches at the moment. Oh, fish love. Yeah, there was definitely a, a considerable amount of time during which we were unable to uh, go rescue them. Okay, so we have exactly 200, which is not enough. We're going to need at least one more. Uh, because I've got some mechatronic seat. I've got some automation things that I'm going to need to build there. Uh, we don't know how to do any of that yet, do we? No. Building lacks resources. The grill, I don't care. Can I suppress this? Oh no, that's bird. I can't suppress bird. I mean, that's fair. Uh, I mean, we might as well put this on forever as well. And that. Maybe not the frost buns. 
uh, forbid mutants, suppress current. Thank you. Don't tell me about it. I'm not interested. Is the answer to that? Alright, so at some point they'll fill this up and we can go and have a look in here. It's going to require a little bit of quite gentle manoeuvring to make sure that we uh, don't drop any polluted water down here into this, but we'll uh, we'll make it work. And we could actually do with a friend for Eslin to uh, help her with the researching, to be honest. Because as we discovered in the last one, the thing about having so many dupes is that you move through the early game very quickly. And I mean, another thing it's worth noting is that we're getting close to the time where we're going to build an electrolyzer, frankly. So that's also going to require a fair bit of stuff. Ashcan has some extra athletics. Always happy to see extra athletics. But yeah, they they don't have loads to do right now. They're mostly tidying. I assume people are doing this. Are you errands? Do you want to do that a bit quicker? There's still some rations in here that we might be able to reach before they go off. Which might be nice. Eslin, you're running on a wheel. That is not what I want to see. Your job is most certainly not to run on wheels. How are we getting on here? All right. Oh, so there was still the, the decision about whether I was building this. I think we are, and we'll just go again. All right. Yeah, we'll need that. I'm going to build a smart battery here. For this, uh, we should have enough for the automation. There we go. And then we'll um, attach this. Uh, we've built two because um, we're going to have at least two incubators in the fairly near future. That's why we've got two wheels. Let's look at some wire. Do, 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 do. I want them to finish building the automation wire before we connect this. I'm not going to connect it to the incubator until we've finished the, until we've learned about the, the automation, the cycle sensor, which is what I want to use to control how often this is on. Because I don't want them having to run here all the time. We're already running on wheels more than is super helpful so that'll be something that'll happen in the future have you built all the you have built all the automation wires lovely in which case you certainly can connect the wheels to the battery that will not be a problem okay this is coming along They're filling up the fair various bins, which I'm reasonably happy to see. We should probably put pickled meal in the fridge. Just a thought. We should also put gristleberry in the fridge. But there's also a question of um, we're not currently collecting the muckroot and stuff because I turned it off the fridge because our fridge was too full and I didn't want to waste fridge space. Um, but we could do with a way to collect the muckroot and stuff. It's possible... Uh, I mean, they're filling these bins. Do we want to get rid of one of these bins? I think we might. 
This is the algae bin. We're going to deconstruct the algae bin. It's got polluted dirt in it. I don't want polluted dirt in it. God damn you to all hell. No wonder we're getting um, polluted oxygen everywhere. Do I not have the mod that disallows new materials anymore? I need to get that one back. Uh, here, I guess. There we go. We'll build it. Mm. Why are you sandstone? Because uh, you were temporary. You don't need to be temporary there. Research complete. Lovely. So now we can actually build the rest of the conveying for this. Oh, hang on. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll get enough materials. Don't worry about that. And the other thing I want is the conveyor rail down here. And oh, fish. There's going to be fish. I don't think we can have it there. We're just going to have to have it through here. And then I want to look at where I want to build my fish. Because we're going to have to do some uh, stuff. Tiling. And I want to know whether I need airflow tiles. I think we might well have airflow tiles just uh, along. Fish. Where are you, fish? Here you are. Yeah, we'll just we'll just fill in the bits. We'll fill in all of this with airflow. There we go. Uh, I'd like to build a new fridge here that we won't bother to power. Uh, I think I'll move this as well. I'll put a couple of bins down here that we can put various things in. This one can be an algae one. I don't want any of your polluted dirt nonsense in it. Uh, what we might do, however, is we might put a new one for polluted dirt back here. If we had a sweeper, would we be able to reach that? Can we a sweeper? Uh, we would. Uh, we wouldn't be able to reach that deodorizer though, which is moderately annoying, but probably not the end of the world. We could also move the liquid tank one further back, which is a possibility. Do 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 do. How many critters? Still only seven, so we're still not cramping, which is good. Uh, I don't care about the bridge. Don't need a bridge just yet. There will definitely be a time when I need a bridge, but that time is not yet now. Thankfully. Right, this one can be dirt. Cultivatable soil. Just dirt, thanks. I don't also need clay in here. Is there anything else we particularly want them to collect in this early game? Not necessarily. This is the place to store muckroot and nutrient bars. Thank you. So that we can collect them from around the map. We'll leave that one until I think of something I want to use it for. Well, how are we getting on here? Sweet pony. Can we get this fish? Oh no, it's gonna go off. We might be able to get that one. Right. Trying to see if there's a way we can get in on top. I don't think we can. It's, we're just gonna have to try and cope with not pouring it on ourselves. Which might not be super straightforward, but we can try. Uh, 
don't quite know how we're going to do that. Government bureaucrats successfully annoyed. What are we trying to do here? We uh, we were trying to get into, there was a Paku fillet there, um, but there's still one here that we're trying to get into. Uh, we also want to be able to have access to these Paku so we can steal their eggs and have a fish farm. Um, also, we want to break into the slime biome more generally so that we can pour all the water down here and do some refinement, sort of similar to what we did before. Um, so that is a, another thing we are attempting. Right, so what if... One, two, one, two, three, four. So this would be the roof. What if we came up like here? And then we actually just got them to build... Like a roof across here. Oh, we're going to let out a little bit of chlorine, but that's not the end of the uh, world. I mean, that doesn't work, does it? Well, no, it does, because the, the point is only that we don't... Um... No, that doesn't work. The point is only that we don't let the water in here. Which just means we're going to need to uh, ensure that it's far enough down that when we let this water from up here in, um, it doesn't feel any need to flow back this way. So I think another thing we're going to do here is make sure that we dig down. That's not where we want to go. Let's cancel that. Um, um, this should be fine. Should be okay. No, it's not going to be okay yet, is it? Lunatic. That's most certainly not going to be okay to begin with. Right. Stealing eggs. Smeagol would approve. Absolutely. Alright, I think we're going to give you another bit there. And we'll come up the back. Hi Neo, how are you doing? Okay. Uh, so we built all this. Lovely. Come here. Excellent. You are even built. So now I would like you to move critter eggs of all sorts. And Ruby, oh, maybe I never put Ruby on a schedule. Might have to have a look at that. And edibles, thank you. I'd like you to move those. Are we doing the same broken printing pod challenge again? Yes. Um, if you mean the one where we take a jeep every time the pod goes off. That is indeed what we're up to. What am I thinking? Oh, Ruby. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Ruby needs a schedule. Apparently Ruby does need a schedule. Does anyone ne else need a schedule? No, only Ruby. Well, worse things have happened, quite frankly. Worse things have definitely happened than that. And this is why we make that schedule like a complete blank, because then you see dupes like sleeping in weird places and you're like, hang on, why are you sleeping there? And you realise that you haven't put them on a schedule. Yes, pod is broken, always spawns a dupe. Absolutely. That is indeed how it's going. Right. Uh, let's deconstruct this one. Now we built a replacement pitch pump. What have we got in here? Oh, we've also got dirt in here. Do we want to keep that? I mean, we don't need anything. We don't need it for anything yet, so I suppose it can stay for now. If we're not using it, there doesn't seem to be any point in getting rid of it. Let us look at my fish blueprint. Which I was going to put here. Was I? There? Maybe there? Does it matter? I mean, I suppose there. It's the most efficient use of space. Um, ladder. Airflow tile. Yes, that is the blueprint mod that you may have heard of. Um, 
You remember how we did a whole thing? I talked about a whole thing. That didn't work. <laughs> Frankly, that did not work. Right, you're going to run down here. And you are going to dig this out. Just like that. Uh, I think we'd also like to do a little bit of mopping on these polluted water bits. Um, oh, you are just about up into that line. How many blueprints does it store? I have no idea. I have not met an endpoint, is what I would say. Well, that's no good. That is definitely no good. We need to dig that out forthwith. It stores locally, so it depends on your storage. Fair. Can we mop this as well? Is there no oxygen in here? There doesn't seem to be any oxygen over here yet. Never mind. Are they in a menu? So, I think I think it does things that I don't understand how it does. Uh, so what you can do is you press the uh, use blueprint and you use the left and right arrows to scroll through your blueprints. Like so. There we go. I think you can do other things with organizing them. I just um, have never bothered is the answer. Look there selected. Is that a misspelling of there or? Are oh, you just not making sense, Leofar? In the info card, there's selected. Ah. Okay. There definitely are um, ways to do it. Smelting? Smelting where we're at next? Probably. We're going to need smelting before we do electrolyzers because of the amount of stuff we're going to need for the electrolyzer. So I think smelting is a good one to do next. It also goes through um, fire poles, which we won't. Yes, it does certainly save them across saves. You can arrange them in folders, if I remember correctly. I believe this to be true, Leofar. As I say, I just don't know how it works. But I do believe that to be true. That definitely sounds like something that I have heard of as being the case. Saves them across saves is really awkward to say. It's a bit weird, I agree. Right. Oh, have you broken it? Cancel. Right. A plumbing water bottle. How have you managed to sweep up the clean water, but not the uh, polluted water? Dupes. I am unimpressed with your efforts here. Oh well, we'll just have to leave it really and cope. Oh, they can't get up there, though. Mm. We could do that, though. That would do it. Okay. Right. There's no way we're getting to this, are we? No. But we should get to the next eggs. How old are you? Nine. Oh, we've got ages. We've got ages before you have eggs. You've got an egg now. 
which is shortly going to be a thing. Oh well. Such is life. Ooh, Thimble Raid. I remember a thing where I was saying I wanted some Thimble Raid. Okay. We don't have very much sedimentary rock, so we're going to start with sandstone. Um, here. And... I guess here. I guess it's got to be here for now. Yeah, I guess it's got to be here for now. Alright, that's going to be the beginning. Off you go. Oh, we can build that thing. Automation. Cycle sensor. Get on there, mate. Excellent. So now we are automating these hatches. I do reset on dupe deaths, deep fried peanut butter. That is how come we have started a new run today. Yesterday we uh, starved one of our dupes. <laughs> and um, that was the end of that, largely. Do we want you to have super duper hard digging? I mean, diamond and obsidian. I don't think we're about to be di mining diamond and obsidian, are we? Not in anything regard resembling the short term. So let's give you some carry instead. Oh, Bryn, you've also got a thing. And I think we're going to give you some construction. Rip that one droop. Though I do enjoy watching the early game. I find that people are often um, quite excited to see the early game. I worry that it might be a bit samey for everyone, but um, certainly that doesn't seem to be how people feel about it. Excellent. Well done, Bryn. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but we only want you to be on for... Let's go for 20%. And then we would like to connect your power wire. Just like that. And hopefully... Endgame is most unique from my view since people don't have square bases yet. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. And I am definitely a person who um, falls into the trap of always having a square base. Even when I try not to have a square base, I wind up with a square base. Can we mop this? I know, everything's terrible, your lives are horrible. We'll, um, we'll see about maybe trying to deal with the slime lung later. But for right now, you're just going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid. Excellent. They've dropped this down a level, though, which is what we wanted to see. Because now we can dig that and put this back in. To give us more protection from dropping uh, water from up here. Which uh, we'll be doing in due course. Because we will definitely want to get up here. I also love seeing big, complicated things doing big, complicated things. So mid-game and end-game is awesome. I think I have to say that I am... often uh, amazed by other people's big complicated things and how much more exciting they are than mine. <laughs> Alright, I think a thing I would like to do is dig across here. That would be fine. Cool. Let's drop the level of this, which is helpful. Um, so I think we can now let you do some digging up here so you're not spending quite so much time. Ah, it is the, um, Thimble Reed Vacillator building. I thought that might be it. We've got sedimentary rock now. We have. If we have sedimentary rock, we should definitely be using it. Oh, 
And we're going to start a new today. I am waiting for my Niobium Tamer to work. Wow. Those are things that I have not got around to doing yet. It must be said. That I would sort of like to have got around to doing. Um, right. We need a bin for polluted dirt. And then... We're going to need some thimble reed. Frankly, that's what we're going to put here. Food hydroponics. I mean, we can't really grow more than four. We can't even grow four. Even, um, even at the end of our last game, we still weren't supporting four with the excess water from the dupes. So... I think four is more than enough. Right, can we have the pleated dirt in here, please? Because we've got... Bloody... Uh, muck all around the place. So I'd like you to get on with that at some point. Excellent. Now I see you're going to hide here. We'll, we'll chase you. We'll chase you. There is no escape, Paku. I don't, I don't know who suggested to you that you could escape. But certainly not. What do you mean I don't have enough materials? Well, that'll get sorted. That will get sorted. I'm going to keep this bit here for now, despite the slime lung, which will shortly be everywhere. All right, can I set this as sweep only water? I wonder if that'll work. I mean, the problem is. So there's only 500 kilos of water there. There's also 500 kilos of water here. Sweep. Liquids. Can we mop? Yeah, you see, we can mop. Let's give it a go. Hello, Blinkster. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. What is this? This is granite. It's got something in it though, so we'll dig it out. What's up, Fugelstrampen? Oh, well, apparently there's f enormous gas pressures in here for reasons. Oh, there's another cold biome up here. That's interesting to know. Excellent. All right. So this is running. Did you get lullabied? You did. Amazing. It, who was dropped meal lice? Oh, I know. No? I don't know who dropped meal lice in there. It shouldn't be in here. Can we sweep it out of here? Maybe put it in the thing. This is not the place for meal lice. Been out with girlfriend and her children all day. Went fossil hunting, then to the beach and fairground. I was Mr. Sensible and watched safely from the ground. I see. Not a big fairground fan, Blinkster? Or or just playing the, the grown-up in the room? Who have we got? Don't like people who can't dig. I mean, I don't really want a doctor. Running around deep? I think we'll have a Lindsay for running around... Plus eight athletics. Seems all right. Nah, no, I just wasn't in the mood. Fair. Hello, Lindsay. Welcome in. Let's give you a skill point. That skill point is going to be an improved carry. You are an errands dupe. Aren't you lucky? Your priorities are errands. Tidying. Uh, we will give you some operating. Supplying, storing, 
Excellent. Of course, pay would be innately stylish. Tokens are expensive. £35 for 50 in each ride is like two to three, so the other three did the fun stuff. Fair enough. You also have a, an errands, Lindsay, Leofar. Where are we? Schedule. Let's try and remember to actually give Lindsay a schedule. Unlike Ruby, who we found sleeping on the floor. Uh, try and remind me in a little bit to put Lindsay on that schedule. I uh, have... I have not done so just yet because I want to do something. What do I want? What? How? Well, it's just coming from up there, isn't it? We need to we need to mop both of these and sweep the liquids again. One day, one day we'll get this to work. I always make Mima my cook because of the clay animation. I see. I'm definitely much less, um, don't know what the word is, sweet maybe, <laughs> than uh, a lot of you are. I just do whatever, whatever they happen to be trained for, that's what you get. Okay, so this is the end here. That seems fine. We need to sort of build our fish tank now. Oh, what the bollocks. Right. You lot. Uh, sweep the liquid. Let's turn the priority on this all the way up. Oh, actually, that's still providing a liquid lock. It's just not a very good one. But, um... I'd like you to pour that into there. Thank you. That would be great. I think we'd like to try and fetch this egg. I suspect we won't have time to build the uh, fish tank beforehand. Lindsay, are you stealing water out of my liquid lock? You really did, didn't you? You stole water from my liquid log. This is not going to be a proper liquid log now, because you stole water from it. You are not covering yourself in glory here, Lindsay, I have to say. Uh, right, not sweep only and enable water auto bottle. I cheat her in with DGSM and any starting to you because I love her so much. Oh, fair. Mimar is the best. I do like Mima as well, it must be said. I can't believe Lindsay stole my liquid lock. How dare you. Speaking of which, she can now go on a schedule though. So tomorrow she may eat and sleep. Which I think is very generous considering she stole my liquid lock. Frankly. Um, let's have a look at the uh, slime lung situation. No slime lung getting in here, which is excellent. Oh, I can't put all the polluted dirt in here. Sweep only polluted dirt, I think. We'll have to make that. Um, and I think we might try and sweep out the base in the search for polluted dirt. So, organic polluted dirt, also rot pile. Let's have a big sweep at a reasonably high priority, just in like here. Did we get any? No. Looks good. Excellent. You, I would also like you to be allowed to have rock pile. Thank you. Oh, how are we doing here? This is excellent. We can put this back on sweep only. Disable auto bottle. In fact, we'll just turn it off for a minute. But I might leave it there considering, you know, we have needed it again. Wow, what a Lindsay move, isn't it? It's just like, uh, you weren't using this, were you? It's like, well, yes. Clearly we were using that 
you could tell. Right. I need to move this. But the problem is, like, the place we would move it is, like, here. And that's full of carbon dioxide. So that's going to be a problem. I think we might just have to live with it, though. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry to say that you might just have to put up with it. Because fish tanks are needed. I want iced coffee, but I have no creamer and I like cream in my iced coffee. As I don't drink any coffee, I, I cannot really contribute to this conversation, I have to say. But I have yogurt. <laughs> yogurt in coffee, yay or nay. <laughs> I mean, from uh, an, an unknowing standpoint, I would suggest probably not. But um, I guess you do you. It's not worth it. Fair enough. Right. Fish. Come here, fish. Let's start thinking about where stuff for you goes. I think I sort of feel alright just actually putting this on. What's this? Why have I made it out? Oh, I know I've made it out of cobalt. Well, knobs to that then. Uh, let's cancel all of that. That is a slight problem with my blueprint. That it's all made out of cobalt because I made it on the other planet. So, we are gonna just have a look at stuff. Door, door. 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 All of those can go in immediately. As I recall, this is the bit where... Yes. Do, do, do. It would be so awesome if Blueprints Mod had an option to change materials. Absolutely. I would enjoy that. Oh, we can't get down here and we're going to need to, so we need to get rid of this. Deconstruct this, please. And, like, these pipes and the power wires that are down here. We don't need any of this. See, they're not going to like running on a wheel if they can't breathe. But until we get the fish tank built, I don't want to shift this stuff. And then when we shift this stuff, we will be able to have more space for... the carbon dioxide. That's it. Interesting. Oh, we've got some skills. Who's got a skill point? Amy. Gave you some improved carry. But I think that's fine. Now you can have... I think you can have crop tending now. Maybe you have some ice cream? You can just buy it. Coffee ice cream is great. <laughs> Lumpy milk. You will have to report back to us, Jess Jack, on how the... Um, how the yoghurt in coffee goes.
I am deeply invested in the coffee drama. I have to say I am reasonably invested in this coffee drama as well. Bin. I think we decided we'd go all the way down because if we went all the way down that was how we had room for three. Do 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 where is my blueprint? Yes. Because this gives us room for three. Excellent. So we also want a door here. And two of these. This is the terror start, absolutely. Um I am not necessarily convinced that it is the easiest one to do it on, but it's certainly the one that I know most and I am most comfortable with. So that's why we're using it on the whole. Because it makes me happier to do it. Terror! Indeed. Oh, we've done some research. What were we researching? Smelting. That was the thing we were researching. What shall we research next? Let's learn about electrolyzers. We're gonna need them. We might as well learn about them. It must be said. Uh, right then, let's build that. The access to Dracos in Gold Amalgam is really essential for easy gameplay, but the two steam vents spawning so close to the starting biome is pretty brutal. I have never really found that. I just don't really struggle with heat, I have to say. Also, you I think you're only guaranteed one steam vent on this now. Also, I don't know where mine is, frankly. Can we see it on the heat map? Not obviously. Yeah, they're gonna hate it when I make them run on this wheel. <laughs> they're gonna be very sad dupes. Did they change it to one? It was always two when I tried. I think it was two... It was two in vanilla, but I think it's one now. There was definitely only one open one on the last map, which makes me believe that it's only one. We did have a closed one as well, but I think that was one of our randomly spawning geysers rather than um, a guaranteed one. Oh, look, we actually have some reed fiber, amazing. Do, 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 do. I wouldn't swear to it because you know that I don't um oh, can we wrangle this one without it drowning Joshua I bet you're glum <laughs> Hatch I bet that you feel glum there Oh, we're not even going to be able to reach you if we do that. Um, oh, Joshua is on their way. Do you have to be able to get all the way down there to pick it up, though? I think you might do. I don't think you can, like, suck it up with your gun. Because you have to go down with your sack. So, I'm not convinced we're going to get this done. We might have some more barbecue on our hands. I keep trying to wrangle these, but they keep appearing in water. Alright. Is someone going to get to this um, hatch? I think Amy is coming. Amy is fast. Amy? No! <laughs> that was the 
terrible. She got right there and then it died. Ah, <sighs> well. At least we're starting the fish. <laughs> Since the game seems determined to lot not let me have extra hatches. That's the second one we've had drown. And both of them we've managed to wrangle, but not quite got to in time to pick them up. Which is kind of disappointing, I have to say. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my uh, blueprint. Yes, it's obviously there. You can tell it's there because you built that door. Yeah, see? Look at you. Using your brain for stuff. Who would have thought? Um... No, oh, no, 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 no. Let's cancel that. Definitely no automation wires on um, transformers. That makes all hell break loose. All right then. Off you go. We're about to move you. We're about to make the dupes unhappy. But uh, well. Uh, I mean, yes. It's not ideal, but yes. i tell you what we could do if we... No, we don't really want to do that. I guess we'll fill this one first and then we'll move the thing. It'll be fine. Uh, so, I'm sort of okay with turning this back on when someone has a minute. Not that there'll be any power for it currently, because obviously we're currently demolishing our power. Alright, you pick up all that copper and get it all out the way. And then I can put some uh, ladder pieces in here. Because I don't care so much if we drop the rest. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. We got all the automation wire built. We'll save one bit. Right, all of that is built. And we are building this. Uh, oh no, it's fine. I can just... I can do that myself. Uh, this can go away. Uh, also this power line. Which uh, we're not going to need. Uh, well, that's not really true, is it? We're going to need some power over here. So we'll we'll leave some of it. We definitely won't need that bit. We didn't finish building our, our thing. Mm, sad times. Oh, it's because you run out of air. I swear we will sort that out for you. It'll take a minute. Ruby! I gave you a schedule. Look, you have a schedule. Oh, they obviously need more downtime. It's time to give them more downtime. We can't have them sleeping around the map. That's not going to be great. Here you go, everyone. Extra downtime slots for all. Do I not spoil you duplicates? Cool. Right. Power wires. Come here, you. Let's connect all of that. Done. Right, I'd like to dig all this out, thanks. Hooray! Power! And I think actually I'd like to move these ladders to the other side. Because this is not a terribly useful place for them to be. Uh, because we will want to put our thing here. Sweeper. Are we just going to smash that up? We're probably... Yeah, no, we probably don't need to. We're probably nearly at the point where we could do refinement. I mean, there'd be a few things we needed to do for that. Uh, one of which is, what did I just learn about? Does anyone know? 
Oh, electrolyzers, that was it. Things we would need to do to be able to smelt over there is, where are the, there they are. Proper power wires. I think that's kind of it, actually. If we did that, we could do the smelting. Now oh, we'll definitely have to break it, build some copper though for um, uh, power wires and batteries and the other things that we'll need over there. I mean, it's possibly not that much. Let's go with let's go with sixteen to begin with. Excellent. Right, we want one of these uh, that lives here. Fish. Excellent. This is going to be for algae. We're going to tame our fish with algae and then switch them over, probably to mealwood seeds, considering. Um, and maybe later balm lily seeds. Algae. Uh, this one is actually... Uh, it's probably not that much more important. We should find some. There's there's more around. We just haven't quite got there yet. You guys aren't stuck in there, are you? No, you just it, it must just be that they um we what's the what am I thinking? that they're, uh, yes, don't have enough downtime to get back and eat and sleep and do all the things they need to do. So we'll work on fixing that for them. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. How are we doing here? Lovely. Right. Let's switch this over and uh, deconstruct that one. We don't need it anymore. There's enough uh, water in there to serve our fish. We haven't got anywhere for sandstone to go. I mean, we will do. We will do. It'll be fine. Excellent. It's very practical of you, Bryn. Taking the copper that was just used to use there. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Right, we want a door here, thanks. Uh, all of these doors can be open though. None of them need to be closed. They just need to be doors. Pizza time? Aww. Oh, no, actually, I don't have to be sad about that because I've got bolognese um, to eat tonight. So I, I don't need to be sad about it being pizza time. It's all good. Do, 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 do. Where is my conveyor loader on this? There is so much stuff, it's difficult to see. Right, it's there. And then critter sensor next to it. And then fish feeder in the middle. Seems fine. Right, deconstruct this. <laughs> you want pizza IRL? I mean, I often want pizza IRL. But yes, no pizza tonight. Double espresso, a bit of sweetener, a bit of water to stretch it, ice, one and a half ish table teaspoons of yogurt, ice teaspoons or tablespoons. Uh, mix well, pretty good. Wouldn't work with thicker strained yogurts. Tablespoons. Ah, it seems like quite a lot of yogurt. Oh, um, this is in the way of me um doing that. The more you the more you run, the more this runs, and the lower the carbon dioxide goes, frankly. And the sooner we can actually dig down beneath this to um, let the carbon dioxide out. So. <coughs> Stop moaning and get on with it. That's largely where we are with this. Okay. Things that I want. I want a critter sensor. Oh, you need to be copper as well. Unreasonable. We're also going to want a knock gate. Uh, 
which I think I have just here, largely. Probably doesn't matter, you could probably also have it here. It doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I have it there. Not gate. Thank you. Just gonna go there. Uh, wire is gonna do that and that. And that's it. I hate it when that happens. How is there water here? Oh, this is leaking through. Oh, excellent. Let it leak through. I mean, it shouldn't be in that tile because that shouldn't be possible. Also, there's a lot of it in that tile. But, um... The bottom torture chamber, I see. That sounds delicious. Oh, hey, I have some cold coffee ready in my fridge. I had to mix it up pretty well, but it wasn't lumpy. The tartness of the yogurt actually compl complements the low acidity of the espresso. Maybe too acidic if I had used a higher acidity coffee. Excellent. Well... I suppose that is one way of um, dealing with that problem. Though I will reiterate that it, there shouldn't have been water there anyway. <laughs> shouldn't largely be possible. So we will have a um, solid filter up here, but that requires, I think, all four types of research because the game hates me. Mostly, yes. I don't know why it hates me so much that I can't have a solid filter, but it really does. Ah, you were a chef in a former life. Well, that 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 is um probably a safer way to make some judgments then. Well, this is just going to entomb a bunch of stuff. Hello, let's let's stop entombing things. Excellent. I'll do. Cool. Good. What's next on the agenda? Oh, fish feeder. That was what I was looking for before I was distracted by that. Fish feeder. No worries. Have a lovely rest of your day, uh, Jack. Hope to see you soon. Right, how is this going? Uh, we'd like that to get destroyed. Do, 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 do. Sedimentary rock, one, two, three, four. There we go. We've added waterboarding. I mean, only a little bit. It's not entirely deliberate. It's just that we need to do some stuff. And like, things are in the way. As is often the case with stuff and things. Is this gold? It is. Mm, there's no water over here. And there's not going to be, so I think I'm fine to chop it out. There we go. Excellent. Where? Where have I got a five tile high floor? Oh, backsides. Thank you, Kaylee. Because you know I'm going to change that now. Go away. None of this. Uh, none of that. Uh, we'll wait till you've built that to deconstruct that. Or I just know that somebody's going to get stuck. Because that's exactly the sort of nonsense that um, is going to go on. Frankly. Well spotted, Kaylee. Yes, we appear to be inappropriate. What's it? Order. I don't think that's correct. I usually can't unsee it, so I point it out if I can. That seems entirely reasonable. It definitely would have bothered me for the rest of the game, so. 
Excellent duplicants. That's it. The more you pump, the sooner the carbon dioxide gets out of the way. Frankly. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to feed them with algae to begin with. Right, then we put some power here that we... Mm. <laughs> What's the potential to draw on this line? Eh, we're already over. I'm not really surprised. Um, there we go. Alright, let's mop this up. They don't need to have wet feet every time they da come down here. They won't be able to breathe, so... Let's um let's allow them to not additionally have wet feet. And we're already building up a little store of hatchling eggs. Although, yeah, I am slightly disappointed that we have been largely unable to rescue the additional ones. Right, that bit can go. Printables? Who have we got? <sighs> got a mouth-breathing doctor. Oh, wow. Hello, Ari. You're actually amazing. Digging, supplying, building, exosuit training? Seems good. Germ-resistant? Ari is also insane. Absolutely. Hello, Ari. Welcome in. You're great. We have been pretty lucky on dupes so far. Um, it must be said. Right. Priorities for Ari. Ari is a build digger. So we don't want you to do that. Thank you. Skills for Ari. Ari, you can have a hard digging one. And schedule for Ari. What are you? You're dupe number 12. Right. So this is the last of these schedules. And then I need to offset them by one for the next 12. And then we need to go back to the beginning. It goes quick. Right then. Uh, yes, we'd probably like to dig through here actually. I would be perfectly fine with that happening. Uh, I don't really care if they fall in, to be honest. They're not doing anything important right now. I know, I know. Life is hard. I am aware, dupes. But we have made it so you don't get wet feet. So, you know. Take your wins where you can find them. A thing we could do for you, though, is... We can now... For instance, dig into like here. Yes. Which will give us somewhere else to spread some carbon dioxide. Uh, ooh, that's a thought. You there. Apparently you don't know about Paku fillets, even though we've literally seen them. That seems weird, but okay. Oh, it's because nobody's built the knot gate. Well, that's a thing. What are we at? We're at 12. We're going to need another um, diffuser soon. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what? I wouldn't mind actually just moving you across there so that we can uh, deconstruct this one and get the conveyor loader in place. Who is trapped? Ruby, why are you trapped? 
Oh, I see why you're trapped. How did you manage to do that? I guess I more have the question of how did you manage to get up there when that happened? Because, oh, you were doing this from on top? I mean, hmm. There you go. You can get back now. You are no longer trapped. Excellent. Slowly. Slowly we will clear some of this carbon dioxide into here. Are you going to have enough to fill this? I don't know if it will quite have enough to fill this, but that's fine. It's not a huge issue. Four critters. Have you been lullabied? You haven't been lullabied. That's not ideal. Do we need another rancher? I suppose we might do. How many ranchers have we got? Ashcan is a rancher. We have still got a little bit of mechatronic stuff for you to build though, so... I guess we'll we'll leave your priorities as they are for now. I assume... Ashcan... Where are you? There you are. Yes, you are still prioritizing building. That's fine. We're going to leave that until we've finished setting up the fish farm. And uh, then we'll be able to let Ashcan go back to farming and ranching. Alright, so we'd like to deconstruct these as well. They don't need to exist. Do you know what? I'm gonna do a thing, which is uh, I'd like to cancel those pipes. Because what I'm gonna wind up doing is I'm gonna wind up moving this forward. So you, because I was talking about moving this anyway, um, but also the piping just works a bit better if the, if the liquid reservoir is at the back. Ceiling collapse, not important. You're all good. And the reason it works a bit better is because if you run it, if you run the excess polluted water into the thimble reed before the reservoir, no, that's not right. That can't be right. That doesn't make logical sense. I think I'm talking nonsense. Ignore me. Oh, we got a skill. Who's got a skill point? Ashcan has a skill point. Ah, oh, let's actually get you into ranching. That would be nice. I know we're not letting you do it yet, but let's get you into ranching. But... <sighs> Who knows? Uh, rocket pilotry? Construction? Let's go rocket pilotry. We'll, we'll take Bert towards suits. I'm not sure they've got loads of time to uh, be doing anything other than cooking. So although the building is tempting, I'm not sure they've actually got any time for that. Uh, let's dig this up. Excellent. I'd say get running on that wheel, Kaylee. The sooner this gets done, the better. How's it going over here? Ah, uh, they've still got some work to do over here, so we're not going to queue anything else up for them over there yet. Oh, I would, however, like to set these to auto-harvest because let's not say no to free um, Thimble Raid. Oh, 
I mean, sure. Oh, excellent. So now we can just get the conveyor loader built here, this way. Yes. And in the short term, it's just going to run everything in here. And then when we get the solid filter, we can change that around. Right. Send a green signal if the count is below two. That's it. This is the door we want to open. So now we just have to get some actual eggs. Do we have any critter eggs? Because we could actually start doing the doing the things. No, that's the what's it? Eggs. Let's put fry eggs on the list so I can keep an eye out if they lay one. Excellent. We can deconstruct these. Cool. That'll be alright. It's going a little bit better. We just need to clear this, I'm afraid, dupes. I know you're not enjoying it, but the shorter answer is we just need to get this out of the way. And until that happens, you're gonna be stuck running on this. Can we sweep this stuff up? I sort of would have assumed that they'd prioritise it when they need to fill, fill these bins. But I don't know if they in fact are. Yeah, look at that air coming out. We'll get to gasp for breath for a bit. Closer to the wheels, that's what I like to see. No? Where are you all going now, damn you? You'll need to come back. Are you on a six? Oh, max gas pressure up here. That's fine. Okay. There's some sleep wheat in there. Can we see anything else that we are interested in? Not... Uh, yes. There's another... What's it? Here. Which we can probably get to when we can come through here which again once we clear this out the way a whole new world will open up to us of places we can go carbon dioxide we can have not suffocating our dupes you know all sorts of things that they might enjoy Oh my lord, have I been building pipes out of sandstone? I'm outraged. Absolutely outraged. How dare I? Dee -dee -dee -dee. Dee -dee -dee. This is obviously really important. I'd like you to do it, dupes. We should not have sandstone pipes. Sandstone, yuck, indeed. Deco improvement, indeed. There we go. You can replace all of those. Oh, look, Lindsay's actually showering. Why don't you have a hat? Oh, you do have a hat. You took it off to shower. And they don't take off their clothes, but they do take off their hats. I have no idea what goes on with the duplicates, but uh, there we are. I suppose we will just have to be happy that at least they take off their hats, I guess. I have a feeling they don't take off their clothes when they get in the hot tub, either. But again, do take off their hats, I believe. For the hot tub. How are we doing? You've been lullabied this time? Better. Better. 
That's what we want to see. How many are we feeding here? Three, six, nine. Are we falling behind? So this is 18, so that's an extra three. Okay, let's actually count. Let's actually count how much mealwood we've got. 18. Thirty-four. Uh, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Forty-nine, fifty-eight. What's fifty-eight divided by five? It's eleven and a little bit. So we're not quite growing enough mealwood for everyone, which probably suggests it's about time that we uh, built a bunch more. I mean, obviously we do have some other sources of food coming in, but I mean, we're, we're also going to have other sources of dupes coming in. So... I mean, excuse you, Tile. How can you be 41.4 degrees C? when I mean just what <laughs> that is my question there just what exactly is going on there yeah we're gonna have more dupes so we might as well be prepared also critters always take a little while to get going the fish are shorter than the hatches but equally we need them the wild ones to need to lay eggs then we need to tame the wild ones then we need to actually get them to produce non-wild ones that we can eat. It'll take a little while. Frankly. Uh, this submit bioscan uh, will put the priority up a bit. Uh, we have done some research. Ah, oh, yes, this. That's what I was learning about. That's fine. What are we learning about next? We don't care about that or these, especially right now. We're not using any of those machines right now. Or that. Mm, possibly not. Material science, maybe? That's the thing that we might want to do at some point reasonably soon. Is there anything else that we would want? Aquatuners? We might want to do aquatuners before we do material study, to be fair. Also, possibly thermoregulators. Right. Yay, go us. We're learning. Do you know what I might want to do? I'm not seeing anyone coming to lullaby my egg. Oh, Ashcan, you coming to lullaby my egg? Well, too late. We ran out of power. I mean, to be fair, people are doing a lot of running on wheels. I should have just bought coal, but I'm kind of committed now. What is the priority on the incubator? Five. We can put it on a six. We can put it on a six. Uh, where did that algae just fall down from? I mean, that's weird, but okay. Right, six for you as well. Let's give them some air. Oh, look. Kaylee, you are a yodeler. We're currently yodeling, which is kind of useful on you. Machinery construction and strength on our mechatronics engineer are actually things that we might care about. Hmm. 
Plus eight machinery whilst running. Seems all right, eh? I mean, you can't actually generate any extra electricity, though, so it, it doesn't really matter. But um, you'll be doing other machine things where it might matter. Right, let's copy the settings of this. Lovely. I assume that someone will be along to do that in a minute. No one wanted to listen to your song. I think it's more that none of them like being down here where they can't breathe, frankly. I think that is the problem we're having. I'm not sure it's your singing that's the problem, to be honest. Right then, I think we're going to call it there. As discussed, I have bolognese waiting for me. Um, this has been reasonably successful. We've got good dupes, which is nice. Um, I'm actually trying to keep on top of things, which is also nice. We're going to have fish up soon. The hatches are coming along. They're a bit slow, but the hatches are coming along as well. We have access to both of these, which is nice. As soon as we've cleared this, we can also have access to the teleporter. We can do some refinement over here. So everything is going pretty well. Thank you all for being here. If you'd like to support the channel, um, you can subscribe, including with Anim Amazon Prime. You can also support directly if you'd like. But more, most importantly, follow the channel, come watch, invite your friends. It's always the best way you can support. Um, thank you very much for being here. Let me have a little look and see if we've got anyone we want to raid today. Um, I'm not necessarily super excited by these options. So I'm just going to call it there. I'm going to see you all tomorrow. I will be back 3 p.m. British summer time. That is UTC plus one. Um, I'll see you all then. Have a lovely rest of your evening. Bye.